Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. If it plugs and turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are gonna break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings too. For a free coverage quote now, call 800 Fix It 77. That's 800 Fix It 77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800 Fix It 77. Online at goeverythingbreaks.com. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie, Sean Wasson, with Sabrina and c It is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Lots to get to today. From the Grim Reaper is here to cops bust the Safeway sicko. And here are his crimes and the insane creatures scientists just accidentally created. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Howdy. Hello, Sealand. How's it going? And hello to you. You can join us on the show. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash thenewsjunkie. Your message is rolling right to the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Wednesday? Doing well. Yeah, pretty good. Feeling. C Lane uh, is just a black hole on my Am side I? here. Yeah, oh. well, I've, I've heard ruder things said about me, but <laughs> there we go. Uh, there you go. He's back in action. The monitor's working now. Everybody can see everybody, and here we are. You guys good on a Wednesday? Oh, yeah, yeah man. I'm feeling productive. Got my taxes done this morning. Check uh, that glad, off the list. I'm glad you don't have to pull the old double today. Just uh, one show. <laughs> I got to say, it was a great time, but they're about an hour and 15 minutes in. I was like, whoa. This is a wall, and I'm hitting it face first. <laughs> I got to keep going. And then this I got a second it. wave, so it worked uh, out great. It was uh, it was a fun time. For me, uh, I uh, started that show uh, on Monday with a minor heart attack because oh. mm-hmm. we've we've talked before about uh, the the way our, our 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 boards work with the talk back, like in our ear. You used to be able to tell the difference between if somebody was like talking to you in a talk back. Or if they were just just hit their mic and started uh-huh. going right. So like like internal communication between us and external communication. Right, but now it's hard to tell the difference because it's all so clear and digital and everything's great, right? So uh, just as the, the intro music to Jimmy's show was starting, he uh, he hit me in the top back and goes, "Ready to talk about the same S for four more hours?" Oh. And I went, "Oh my gosh, what Jimmy. are you doing to me, man? <laughs> the suit's got to this guy. He's going wild. He's going full rogue. I like it." <laughs> It's kind of uh, Jimmy I like, man. Jack leaves for, for, for 10 minutes and you're going wild west on me. <laughs> I mean, it might as well have been an April Fool's for me, but I was just like, oh, gosh. All right. All right. Daddy. Everybody on board, no matter where you're listening today, we love you. We appreciate you. We're going to have some fun. We got Fritz on the street, everybody. Uh, yeah. Coming up in just a couple of hours on the show. We'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe I can eke out a win. I have not been doing very well in Fritz on the street. But don't let that uh, drag you down when it comes to wanting to have me represent you. And Fritz, confident, yeah, you, 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 you can still win. 
And you'll be the first in line to win the very... This guy's a salesman. <laughs> very fresh, brand new Fritz Magnet. We don't have a name for this one yet. It's not even in the system yet, but uh, that'll be on the way very soon. Some more details about that coming up with Fritz on the street in about two hours right now. Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great, big, wide world of ours. And we go to Taiwan, a friend, Ooh. where they just had last night a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. Damn. Now, it was morning their time. It was the strongest earthquake in 25 years, so a whole lot of shaking going on in our intro clip. The visual wild on this. I'll put it up on See It Now for you. The rest of you on the radio are going to hear some shaking here. This is a bar. That's liquor, beer falling off the counter. Whoa. Wine bottles. <laughs> It's inside some sort of, like, fast food place. Everything moving all over the place. Again, this will be up on See It Now at thenewsjunkie.com. Somebody's place. The roof spinning. Weird Watch chandelier. this. Here we go. Inside an apartment. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then this is the downtown. The high rise is moving around. They're, they're built to move in this. They are built to move in Taiwan. Look, look. Wow. The I don't water think I've seen one that bad in the last couple years. Yeah, it was very, very intense. Again, this will go up on See It Now over at thenewsjunkie.com. That would be an interesting uh, experience. I'd be curious to see what it's like to be at the top of one of those sky skyscrapers. Ha! That are what? <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want to actually try it, right? I don't know. I'd be curious. Oh, man, you're I mean, a nut job. I, I don't know that, I mean, uh, it, it, you know, if they're built to withstand something like this, Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, it would be okay. But Your like, faith in humanity, C Lane, is so much greater than mine. But <laughs> you, you know, like when you're, uh, like you, you lived in Chicago for a while. Did you ever go to uh, the Hancock Building and go all the way to like the Martini Bar up top? Yeah, the John the, Hancock. The, yeah. yeah, the top of the cock is what they call it. And, right. Uh, and uh, when you're up there, like my friends, like yeah, when you go, like you know, you could feel that the building sways a little bit. You can feel like yeah, it's a hell no for me. You can feel. Yeah, like nah. <laughs> That it's different. <laughs> Absolutely or, not. Or if no you way. stand in the bathroom, if you just stand still and stand in front of the toilet, the water is moving constantly just because of the building swaying. I'm like, so in an earthquake, you're telling me it's going to sway a little more. I might be interested in trying this out. Hard pass. Just like <laughs> as hard as you can possibly pass on something. This, this is C-Lane, I think, all right? And uh, I'll put this up as well over on See It Now because it's in, it's insanity. C-Lane, this reminds me of when we were all together in uh, the Bahamas in Hope Town, and you had found this little spot on, yeah. on the rocks of the beach. A little, uh, little rock spa. There was like a man, not a man-made, there was a like, like uh, nature-made, just natural little hot tub that was mm. formed in the rocks and it, was not, was, it was not hot, but I mean, it was it, it was like a little like kind of a, like a little tub. Yeah, yeah, like a rock tub. And you see, that was sitting in there, and you couldn't get him to move for anything. This is back to Taiwan again. I'll put this as well up on see it now. Check this out. Some dude is in a pool when the Whoa. earthquake hits. Look. Okay. Oh my gosh. He's just that running is the pool. Insane. It's a full-on surf and safari, man. And this guy's just like, okay, well, I'm just waiting hey, out here. Hey, someone get a video of this. That this can't awesome. be a very deep pool. Uh, it is unbelievable. And one more I'll show you. I'll put all three of these on See It Now. This is allegedly one where there's some overflow going on from a pool on top of one of the buildings. Now, I don't know. This reeks of a little bit of fakery to me. Tell me what you guys think. Check this out. All right? It's just a waterfall. Coming over the side of the building. It's just over the side of the skyscraper, water just pouring down as if it's a natural waterfall. So they're saying that there's a pool up there? Yeah, they're saying that there's a rooftop pool in Taiwan, and that's what had caused it. Hose. Jeez, I'll put all three of those up on See It Now. Nine dead, over 900 injured in the worst quake in 25 years to rock the island of Taiwan. Do they build pools uh, on top of, of buildings like that? Like uh, yeah. maybe that's a maybe that's a Japan thing or um, a Taiwan thing. Excuse me. Oh, now you made me do it. Now I'm moving. You're saying it's not uh, Japan. Japan. No. All right. But uh, like, so if there's a rooftop pool here in town, I think mm. there's some sort of building regulation 
that it's got to be the rooftop of a parking garage. It's right. not above people's apartments. I don't think generally speaking it is, no. Because I, I think safety-wise, if there were to be some sort of breach, that's a lot of water screwing else, everybody's well, stuff. To be clear, they exist that way because I've seen them. I've seen people like up on top of buildings and they videotaped where they were in a pool and you're on top of like a skyscraper or like way up. Uh, maybe not a skyscraper, so to speak, but, you know, a large building, um, depending on your definition of that term, where they were up on top and they were in a pool, but nothing quite like this. And this was very, very bad. The strongest earthquake in a quarter century rocked Taiwan during morning rush hour, killing nine people, trapping dozens of quarries. How about this? Some lady. She's in the building. Do you see the building that, like, you, you guys might not have seen much of this. Um, let me see if I can bring this up, too. Jeez, I'll just have to go see it now crazy after this. Oh, yeah. Uh, during the break. But uh, in Taiwan, there was one of the buildings downtown that completely and totally tipped over. And I don't want to be in that building. Yeah, I would hope not. Um, is this it? Uh, I'm trying to see. Hold on. I'm going to get you a, a video for those of you on YouTube and Twitch. And, of course, I'll post it up afterwards. Yeah, this is it right here, okay? So this is one of the buildings in Taiwan downtown. And you see the street. Everything is really moving. And then on the left, the building starts to shift. And the bottom of the building oh. drops oh out. Kind of hard to see what's going on there. I'll find a, a better shot of the side of this thing. Uh, here it is right here. This is what it looks like. So now you can see the building just completely tipped over Ooh. in the street. That one wasn't prepared for earthquakes. No, this one does not seem to have been ready. All these will be up on See It Now uh, during the break, all four of them. Jesus. Uh, in a new I'll section, get... just earthquakes. <laughs> Might need that. i got to get all these up, though, because I want people to be able to see it, obviously. Hey, guys, it's Sean from my earthquake playlist. <laughs> like and this? subscribe. Would you have done this, all right? Woman is in that building, I believe. That building or one of these buildings downtown that tipped, okay? She gets out of the building after the earthquake in Taiwan. She realizes she forgot her cat. Oh, no. She goes back inside her house. Building collapses more. She dies. Ooh. Is the cat okay? Cat inside there with her, unknown if the cat is okay or not. Wait, wait, wait. How do we know this story? There is a Great story point. about this. So somebody must have, like, witnessed the fact that the lady went back in to get the cat. I mean, I love my dog. Uh, I love my cat, for that matter. But I don't know that I, like, if, if there was a I little fire in the, the house. I the building without all my animals in my arms, first and foremost. That, yeah, that, that's, that's probably one good way to handle this. You don't have to worry about it to begin with. But, but if, if, you're you're, outside of the, if you're outside of the house and Courtney looks at you and she goes, we don't have lady, you're going to look back and go, Sorry. It's it's a calculated loss. Is the, is the building twisted over? Uh, it's not yet, but at the time that the lady went back in for a cat, neither was that building. Uh, I don't know. If it looks like the building might fall, I ain't going back in. Here, here's what it says. This is from CNA. A woman attempting to rescue her pet cat from a building that collapsed in Hualien following a 7.2 magnitude earthquake has been found dead. She escaped the initial trembler unharmed, but became trapped by an aftershock that struck after she re-entered the eight-story mixed-use oh, mixed block. she went back in after the earthquake. Yeah, she went back in after the, one of the first tremors. First responders later found the 33-year-old woman surnamed Kang pinned under a column with no vital signs. She's a high school teacher. She said she, she's going back in. She's got to get her cat. The 38-year-old uh, went, or I mean, she's not 38. I think, that could, no, I think this could have been any of us. 33 year old went back in and because, uh, ended up dead because uh you know you're you, you don't never know when an aftershock is gonna hit i think any of us could have gone all right the shaking is over time to go see how that cat's doing yeah you got to be real careful about that that's the problem because i i have very little to no experience basically no experience with earthquakes but I do know that we're not one and done. Most earthquakes, especially if it's a severe one, you've got tremors, aftershocks. You've got, like, you know, that can be almost as bad as the, the big dog, right? Yeah. Like, oh, oh. If, if you have a 7.2, you might end up with, like, a 6-point something, a 5-point something. Yeah, as that reverberates That's through. Terrifying, man. Yeah. No it's, I'll take the it's hurricanes, tough. please. If you've ever been through a really, really, and I mean serious, seriously bad earthquake, Love to hear your story today via dispatch. Please send those our way. Go to newsjunkie.com and send yours now. we got more on this as we go on with the show today. And when we come back, we'll get to a huge record has finally been shattered. How did it happen? Wait till you hear this. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. 
know you can always text us unless you're driving at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Travel with caution. Authorities are still working on that accident on Orange Blossom Trail northbound near the beach line. The right lane is blocked. Traveling on I-4 this morning, a bit of delays eastbound before US-27 and approaching the beach line. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429, and it's pretty mellow on the greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant, the Improv Comedy Club, is becoming the funny bone. Enjoy the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience at Point Orlando. The funny bone welcomes Matt McCusker, who is a comedian, writer, and proud co-host of Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast on April 5th and 6th. <laughs> Followed by Kev Herrera on April 12th and 13th. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the Funny Bone. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Being a great dad doesn't require some fat wallet. I realized a simple stopwatch could make my kids' day better. I turned everything into a speed competition. Just time everything. How fast can they make their bed? How quickly can they fold 10 shirts? The weirder, the better. I want time who could hug me the longest. They'll be excited if you're excited. Trust me. Pull out a stopwatch or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. My best dad tip, okay, one time our power went out and we couldn't watch TV or play video games or whatever, but we still had the best time pulling out flashlights and building a fort in their room telling stories. So last week, I just turned off the main breaker and yelled, power's out. (laughs) I mean, why wait for a storm? Just make the fun part happen yourself. I mean, you can do it tonight. 
Dads, try this idea or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, and working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more. All commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. New South Window Solutions. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. No one's really sure what all C Lane's buttons actually do. This is the news. And quick note to you, one of your biggest responsibilities as a listener of this show is when we need you, you got to be there for us. So uh, when you're out there and there's a call to any of the junkies who might be a person that does X, Y, or Z, and you're that person, step up, email, send a dispatch, do whatever you got to do to to call us on the show, all right? Excuse me. And that's very easy for you to do with the website, et cetera, et cetera. Yesterday, we put a call out for anybody who might have been on a cruise and been ditched by the cruise line. And we got an update on the folks who were ditched on this African island. The cruise ship just left their asses and they were so mad. And then they said, you know what? We might not even get back on this cruise ship. We might not get back on like they're going to punish the cruise ship or something. So one of you stepped up and uh, Diane emails tips of the news junkie.com. She says, hi, junkies. I, mi- I missed a cruise ship in Greece one time. We took a small ship about the size of the Sea Escape for a one day cruise on the island of Patmos. My friend and I were walking to the ship, which was visible from walking distance all over the island. As we got closer, we saw the ship was moving. We ran up screaming to wait, but to no avail. The crew on deck and the guys on the dock were yelling in Greek to each other. Then the dock guys heard us and put a speedboat out to us. And they said they drove us to meet our ship in very deep water. As we pulled up, a doorway opened. About 10 guys were waiting there. One of the ship's crew jumped down to our speedboat. Excuse me. Uh, allergies are horrible today. I apologize oh, it's, it's for this. It's whipping up outside, pollen crazy. I feel you, homie. All right, there we go. Uh-huh. Uh, they said the ship's crew jumped down to our speedboat and proceeded to hold the boats together with their body, then ushered me to approach the doorway again. Come, come is all they said. I reached my hands up, and then they grabbed me, and I was in the dining room carefully with all the passengers. I, this is like, there's no no periods in this, Diane, at all. Punctuation, Anyways, Diane. 
It said they, they, were, they were finally rescued at the last minute by these Greek men to get on this cruise ship, I guess. They said they were very nice. We had fun, I guess. I guess that's how they do it in Greece. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, pop, pop. I wonder uh, they got a, an extra bill for that. Uh, they, I, they should have, right? For like the, uh, the turbo delivery to the cruise ship that was uh, I've wandering heard some, away. I've heard some horror stories about like if you are caught like throwing like deck furniture off a cruise ship. Big money. You're done. They have mm-hmm. to. They have to stop and like turn around and go get it. They can't yeah. just let that stuff sink. So. Oh uh, no, no, no! I think they. I think they let it sink. I think they let it go because they're not going to turn that cruise ship around for nothing. But I think you have to pay like a thousand dollars if you throw off a deck chair. Why like, would you do that? What kind of animal are you? Look, see, like, look up cruise cruise ship um, littering fees or like uh, cruise ship fee if you throw off a chair, something like that. See if you can find that. Because I, I had been told it was like thousands or like $10,000 or something crazy previously. Because they, I think they just had to leave it and they're right. pay a fine. Carnival.com, the items overboard policy. A Carnival Cruise Line dedicated to protecting the environment, including the marine environment, in which our vessels sail. Perfect. All guests are expected to um, adhere to the following guidelines. They're liable for any illegal dumping or pollution of any kind, including discharge of any item into the ocean or waterways. Any mm-hmm. willful or negligent act of discharging or releasing unauthorized items overboard without the express permission of the ship staff, which, how do you get that permission? <laughs> hey, would you mind if I just throw this chair overboard? Uh, why? Why? Well, because it'll be fun. It'll be a blast. Because it would be fun to do it, but you're going to get in big trouble. For Carnival here, uh, this just says a $500 charge per violation and reimbursement cost of the Carnival Carnival property. So, so you got to pay for the chair? $500 and you pay for the chair. That's not bad. I mean, don't get tempted, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's close to tempting. It's it's right there on the verge. Well, it's five hundred bucks in a six thousand dollar chair. So, uh... oh yeah, you know what? You're right. They very well could uh, jack the price up on that chair. And Diane, come on, what is it with some of you? Not a period or comma in sight. Look at this. Not a. You wanted to get the message quick. The whole paragraph. Not a period or a comma. You guys don't get charged, you know, for using periods. Thank you, though, Diane. I appreciate you. I was just telling people if you're if you're out there and I and I shout you out, I want you to reach out. So I don't want you to be uh, shocked or scared by my reaction to Diane. I love you, Diane. Thank you. Um, Kathy says to tips at the news junkie.com. Yesterday we were talking about dogs attacking delivery workers and what you can do to avoid that. And I said if you work we for asked USPS, for people uh, for uh, that have been attacked by dogs to reach out. I did, and they did. This person was from USPS talking about what happens if. Uh, you know, you encounter a, a violent dog. And Kathy says, if you have a gun on USPS property, you will be fired immediately. We had a person who used a postal Ford car with government plates. This person left something in the car and management went through the contents. They found a gun and their, the person's ID. They were fired immediately. Then they used the union and got their job back. They have a great union, she says. If that was a rural carrier, worst union ever. This person was below a rural carrier. Rural carriers have the worst union. She really doesn't like this union. Rural carriers at the bottom of the barrel. I had my best time of my life at Just OK 8. You guys did the best. Love forever, says Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Lots she of emails. She did. She used a lot of punctuation, in fact. I mean, look, we got exclamation points galore. I'm especially in when she was talking about those bad unions. She hates the union. It says every person was below a rural carrier. Rural carrier is the worst union. City carrier union is the best. Then clerks, rural carriers at the bottom of the barrel, she says. Whoa. Not a big fan of those. Uh, so thank you for sending those in. And if you hear something that is relevant to you, please do send in a dispatch or send in an email to explain your story so that we can have more content. This yes. Is yes. Content. Thank you. Nom, 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 Appreciate nom, it. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, over to some records shattered, records broken. They said Caitlin Clark and her game with a win over LSU has shattered the record for the most watched women's college basketball game of all time. Sports. How many viewers peaked? At 16 million viewers Damn. watching that. Now, here's where I come back with a yeah, question. They, they beat the record by 15 million, uh, 800,270 <laughs> viewers. All right, you dick. Here, this is why I'm throwing this out, okay? 16 million viewers watching women's NCAA college basketball. 
16 million viewers at peak watching Iowa play LSU. Not even the championship game, just a rivalry game, right? 16 million viewers. Why is it that there's such an appetite, such a desire, apparently, for women's college basketball games, but the WNBA gets nothing? Explain that to me, big sports fans. And I don't want to hear, like, the token just crapping on and the WNBA sucks. Why is it that there's a huge audience that watches college basketball for women, but then when they go over into pro, it's like the only thing I've ever heard of where you then you don't watch it anymore. Yeah, but they're not watching the college women's team until they're in the Sweet 16 and that's, the championship. That's probably Tell me the numbers true. numbers during the regular season. That's probably true, but if there if there's 16 million watching this back and forth, I, I would guess that a lot, at least these uh, games where where Caitlin Clark is playing, where LSU is playing, where some of these bigger teams are playing, where um, USC, where UConn, where all of these teams are playing, it seems like there would be more viewership than you're seeing in the WNBA. Well, answer me this because I, I think what we're seeing the these these record numbers is coming down to because of some of the players on the court. Yeah, and because of the the past, I mean this this was not the final game, right? Mm. But it was no, no, a, no. it was a rivalry. I believe it was a rematch of last year's final game. It was a rematch of a game earlier in the season where LSU actually won and beat Caitlin Clark's team. Okay, I knew there's, I, there's there's, there's I knew a lot there, of weird. Go ahead. I knew there was an important rematch. What what, what I was getting to was, has there in the WNBA in the history of the WNBA been like a dynasty? Has there, I have no clue. Has uh, uh, it was the year of Lisa Bird? I feel like there was a dynasty there. Is it even I don't even Lisa know who Bird? Lisa Bird is. Yeah. Um, I would, I, my next question was: Has there been a Michael Jordan, a Larry right. Bird? Maybe, Bird. Was, maybe the Lisa Bird. Bird is the Larry Bird. Sue Bird. Sue Bird. The only the only person that I know in the WNBA is not somebody that I know because of their performance on the court. Even it's Brittany Griner because of and, their performance getting drugs through uh, 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 or not. Yeah, I know her customs. being a Russian prisoner more than I know her playing basketball. My question is serious and comes from a good place. I'm not saying this like to crap on on the WNBA. I'm saying people. It's not that people dislike women's basketball. Obviously, if 16 million will tune in to watch Caitlin Clark, it's that. Those people don't care about the WNBA. They, they, once it goes to the pros, they do not care. And maybe it's because, like Celine said, they didn't have a big team. Maybe it's because there was a good point over in chat earlier where they're saying, it could it be college loyalty? Like, you uh, went so. to LSU, so you tune into LSU. You went to Iowa, so you tune into Iowa. Well, when it starts really, making that, the news like she is, then people are tuning in just to see how she breaks more records and yeah. slam, slam dunks. Records, and it's not just that. There's lots of other stuff. There's, like, racial undertones to this the, in the coverage that people are going for. He had some guy on ESPN, and he's like, I was blown away seeing them white girls beat a black girl. And it's like, there's there's been a lot of, like, weird racial undertones, especially with Iowa and LSU battling each other. There's been weird dramas, like side quests. Like, the governor of Louisiana said that LSU, <clears throat> their players should be stripped of scholarships. Why? Because they weren't out on the court for the national anthem. So, like, there's okay. all of these stupid oh, so little... they should be stripped of their scholarships. Th that's what the governor of Louisiana was suggesting, apparently. <laughs> on. So, uh, I, I don't care about any of these things is, necessarily. Is, wait, 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 LSU hold players? On, hold on, hold on. What, what I'm saying is, it, none of these things matter so much to me. But I'm saying all of these things are sideshows that may draw more attention to the games that are, that are taking place here. All right? I don't know. I'm just guessing here. And plus, people uh, are doing brackets. I feel Brackets, like the whole bracket scambling. thing is going to have a bunch of people watching as well. But I don't even think all of this can account for such a huge discrepancy. If an NFL game gets 16 million viewers, it's still not that bad. That's still a pretty decent audience for an NFL game. So this being not even the final four in women's college basketball is super impressive to me. And, and I don't know if it's just about the rivalry, if it's about all these other different twists and turns I was talking about. If it's about Caitlin Clark, it's I, I, I don't know, but I find it to be very, very interesting. And I think maybe it shows that if you get a bunch of new upstarts that work their way into the WNBA, maybe the WNBA could be much more successful and have more viewers. A lot of guys watch college basketball when it's the women. A lot of guys bet on it. 
A lot of guys don't give a damn about the WNBA. A lot of women don't give a damn about the WNBA, obviously. Nobody really seems to give a damn about the WNBA. But this, I'm a man who watches numbers, right? Like, here in radio, the battle is for well, numbers. Maybe we should put some numbers out on the court then. No, not not watching the numbers. Just oh. getting the numbers. Collecting the numbers. Hold on. Uh, there are numbers on the court technically, right? You know, on the jerseys and all. I have watched a lick yeah. of yeah. this yeah. college basketball. You don't like college basketball I'm at all? It. I don't like it. I just haven't watched it. Mm-hmm. It's just not been my thing. If, yeah. Maybe if uh, UCF was in there, Florida Gulf Coast University... Yeah. FAU, when I found out they had been knocked out, I would I said, oh, maybe should have watched their game. But that's well, what does that all go back to, though? That all goes back to the college loyalty right. theory. Yeah. That was, uh, and that, I've always said that that's one of the reasons why I don't pay attention to college sports at all is because I never went to one that um, that really that I really have any sort of connection to. Yeah, but my best friend growing up, uh, Jared Pepper, he was a mega fan, and I mean posters on the wall shirts, jerseys, footballs, every single game on Saturday he's watching. Cried when they lost? Cried when they lost. Got angry when they lost. Him and his dad loved to watch the game together. FSU. And neither him nor his dad ever went to FSU, ever played at FSU. As far as I know, I don't even know if there's anybody in the family that went to FSU. They just liked the team. So it's all very confusing to me. And when I say I'm a numbers guy, I, uh, b says Sean is number autistic. I am not. <laughs> well, maybe I am. I don't know. I love to see what people care about. So that's why I focus on the box office numbers each week. That's why I look at what's still selling records every single week. That's why I see what the circulation is on newspapers, which is not great these days, or magazines, or any number of things. I follow all this to see what people actually care about. So if I know what you care about, then I could better put together something each and every day for this show. And that's why you care about this show, right? But people care about women's college basketball, and they don't care about the WNBA. And it must, to me, just be about those big names. Because the, the NBA wasn't a big deal for a really long time. The NBA was like, this thing was just going on. It, it got like a little bit of attention. Then you had your huge pop. In the 80s and in the 90s, with your Larry Birds, with your Michael Jordans, with right. Jam. with all these things that just made basketball the thing for a little while. Maybe it's that. Let me know. Maybe they need some Lady Globetrotters. That's, uh, oh, that's that could fun. be. Yeah, I'd watch that. Uh, but if you are more to the sports world, and again, I don't just want it to be a thing where you trash on the WNBA. That doesn't do much for me. I don't care about that. But if you actually are somebody yeah, you can out send there, those to me. <laughs> and, and you do have a good thought on this, a good take on this. Go to the newsjunkie.com, fire off a dispatch right now. That's pretty impressive, though. Those are big numbers right there. Oh, that but, the, the, the governor saying that the, the, they should be stripped of the scholarships. Mm-hmm. First of all, it's kind of messed up that he's saying that about his own team. Yeah. And uh, second, the whole, you know, patriotism, we're united under one flag. Uh, that's not it. Like, I, I think there's some things to dislike about some of the girls' personalities on this LSU team, but the criticism has been bananas. Did you see the LA Times article about LSU? No. Look up LA Times LSU, and you'll probably find something about the controversy that I'm talking about. And uh, the article called them, like, I, it wasn't hussies, but there was, a, there was, like, another word that they used about the team um, that they ended up apologizing for. And they ran a retraction or like a clarification in the LA Times. Uh, LA Hussies Times reporter whore. apologizes for not appropriate LSU column. Oh, come on. Oh. Was it like an op-ed? Yeah, it was It was a piece, a sports piece in the LA Times. And it was there was a couple of things that the writer had said about the LSU team, which were like, what? All oh, the hating <laughs> about, man. Uh, who knows? I don't know. In this case, we call them debutantes. Debutantes, which give me a definition on that. That's it's always like a a sexual thing to me. Debutantes. I never thought no. Debutante is like um an upper it, class it, young woman making her first appearance in fashionable society. Debu- debutante is like a white person version of uh, a, a young Spanish woman having her quinceanera. Yeah, you, you know, you go to the debutante ball. That's not bad. That's so, not nearly as bad. So the comments uh, because they they put themselves together for the game. No, I look. I I can't. I I can't bring up the article right now. We're we're behind on a break. But there were some comments that they had on this. 
The journalist said, words matter. As a journalist, nobody should know this more than me, yet I've failed miserably in my choice of words. This is the LA Times writer who wrote this. I try to be clever in my phrasing about one team's attitude using alliteration while not understanding the deeply offensive connotation or um, or associations. But again, this doesn't even say the thing that they said. I want the actual phrases that the guy used. Uh, LA Times edited the column. Um... Well, All right, I, I'll, I'll bring this up. We don't have time right uh, at this very moment. See, let's see if you could find it too yeah, during the break. Uh, quick break. We'll see what the LA Times writer actually put in there that was so controversial. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. We've got a quiet morning, but a windy afternoon gusting over 40 miles an hour, highs in the mid-80s, and then a possibility of severe thunderstorms in Orlando between roughly 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. It could be a wet evening commute for many of us and picking up the kids. There could even be some delayed releases with lightning. Heads up, wind gusts over 60 miles per hour possible in any storms. Today is a Fox 35 Storm Alert Day. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness to help you feel plenty good. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. Folks, let me tell you something, and you don't really need to be told this at all. You know it as well as I do. If you're a homeowner, your air conditioning is the most important thing in your house for a lot of reasons. One, it keeps you cool, keeps you comfortable, keeps your place nice and the way you want it and the way you deserve after being out there working all day. Maybe more importantly, it is one of the big determiners on how much your electric bill costs. And if it's your ears are skyrocketing right now, have somebody come out for preventative maintenance from Mills Air. Have them take a look. They might be able to save you on your power bill. And if yours is on its last legs, they can get you in a new carrier unit over at Mills Air, and that can save you big time. Not just on that power bill, because your AC is like 60-plus percent of your power bill in most cases, uh, but also in terms of rebates. You see, because their techs can service any brand out there, and Mills Air is a carrier factory authorized dealer, meaning they can get you up to $1,275, $1,275 in rebates toward a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to family owned and operated Mills Air. Give them a call today, 407 277 1159, or find them online at millsair.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law Firm of Kaufman and Lind. If you've been in a car accident, you need to know a term. It's called statute of limitations. That means you have two years from the time of the accident to actually file a lawsuit if need be. If you don't do that, you're going to lose your rights to the claim. Now, sometimes some lawyers will wait till the last minute to file or contact you with just about a month left saying that they don't know if they want to proceed with your case. Be careful with that. For more information, contact me at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. 
When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at GetEthos.com. That's GetEthos.com. Hey, DQ fans, they've got the deal of the century for you. Download the DQ app and get buy one, get one free Blizzard treats. Just like that, you can get any two Blizzard treats for the price of one. Only at participating DQ locations. Happy tastes good. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. He's smiling, and that alone should scare you. This. Your voice. Go to thenewsjunkie.com to send yours right now. And I found what we were talking about. Uh, it was this article about the NCAA women's team, LSU. Did you find the actual and, article? Because that's been the hardest thing to find. Which, no, by haven't. the way, not surprising that any media outlet would want to scrub clean a controversial depiction of women's basketball after mm. what happened to Mr. Don Imus. Oh, yeah. Nappy-headed hose did him in. Yeah. And that was reverberated everywhere. Nappy, you know what? Nappy-headed hose was worse, though. Nappy-headed hose was way worse than this, actually. You could call this sexist if you want because it's a male writer writing about female athletes. But it's not like it's not a racist thing. Uh, they're Nappy calling it racist. Hose. They're they're well, they're 100% mm. calling it racist. Uh, here's what they say in, in uh, the New York Post. It says the Los Angeles Times writer responsible for the weekend column on LSU has issued an apology on Monday for the universally criticized piece. LSU head coach Kim Mulkey tore in to the writer Ben Bolch for the article that described the Sweet 16 game between UCLA, uh, that's Caitlin Clark's team, and LSU, the rivals, as a reckoning between good and evil and took issue with his characterization such as dirty debutantes. That's what he uh, said. Okay. So well, dirty funny. makes things a little bit worse. Debutantes is not bad, but dirty debutantes is like, oh, uh, I don't need that. What, what somebody, why dirty, though? I, I, I don't know. I don't know why he used the word dirty, but somebody has pointed out, and whether he meant it this way or not, if you Google dirty debutantes together, mm -hmm. yeah, some of the earliest things that come up is porn. Oh, really? Like a sexualized like, ooh, thing. like Dirty Debutantes, Volume 6. And what is it? Yeah. Do they dress up like in hey, like those uh, pageant, that pageant wear? He didn't click just yet. Click it, Elaine. He's waiting. Yeah. He's saving it for now. Uh, they also compared the game between the Tigers and the Bruins as Louisiana hot sauce and milk and cookies, <laughs> which I get that comparison because you got like a the Louisiana team is these fired up, fiery personalities. And um, categorizing them as Louisiana hot sauce, I think would be fine. And the other team is sort of much more mundane minus the star power that they have calling them milk and cookies. I think is okay. The dirty debutantes is the thing that I think if you were writing about men's basketball, you wouldn't utilize that as some sort of adjective 
to talk about the team. What, dirty? So, um, you wouldn't say the guys were dirty debutantes. Well, I don't you wouldn't think say you debutantes because would. that's a woman thing. Right, yeah. So, I mean, and I still think all of the criticism is like, maybe maybe it's a little bit much of a pile-on. It just seems like a stupid article more than anything. Um, but the coach said, I'm not going to let the sexism continue. How dare people attack kids like that, she says. Um Referring to them as kids, as a protectorate, you know, yeah. like beyond criticism somehow. She also says, like, you may not like this. You may not like the way we look. You may not like the way we play. You may not like the way we trash talk. And I'm like, is is that up for discussion, your trash talk? I like Be- trash talk. Because not for nothing. Do you a little bitch? Not for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this article comes from the newspaper where UCLA is from. He could be very well just trash talking this team. That's kind of uh-huh. what he's done. He's called them evil. He's called them dirty. And he's called them hot sauce. Someone used a thesaurus. My <laughs> God. <laughs> Russell says this was the game prior to the Caitlin Clark game. Yeah, this was on Saturday. Um, that was the day that that ended up uh, coming out. It didn't take long for people to crap all over it. Uh, Amy says Caitlin Clark is on Iowa, not UCLA. When did I say she was on UCLA? I. Uh, I don't know that I did. If I did, I apologize, but I was saying lots of different team names. I know that she's on, uh, she's LSU is the the team that they're talking about in this article, <clears throat> but of course she's on Iowa. Yes. And I has been the center of a lot of attention and she seems to be a phenom. So a uh, phenom, excuse me. So good for her. You know, all the high fives. Uh, Rachel says you're supposed to trash talk. I think trash talk is a necessary element in really entertaining sports. Yeah. However, I don't know that the trash talk needs to be, like super personal, right. right? Like there's obviously lines where I would go if somebody's going after somebody's family members or something, but the, the overall general trash talk I like. But do you think it should be between two the two teams, not this like random reporter who has a quota to meet, obviously? Sports Sport journalists counts. are always trying to sort of validate their existence. Why are they there? Why do they matter? And it seems like, you could argue that you need journalists and news reporters to tell you what's going on in very specialized parts of the world, much more than you need some kind of sports journalist. That's why that career is facing a lot of issues like many other things right now. You got glasses on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm trying something new. My eyes have been so effed up lately. <laughs> Did you think you're going to put that on and we weren't going to say anything about it? I'm, there's, see, are those brand bo- new? They're, no, I've had them for a, a Is this your dirty debutante outfit? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> I like them. They you look good stay. on you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, they're the blue blocker kind because I mm-hmm. have had like such bad eye issues lately. I yeah. Have to probably go get like actual glasses. But yeah, getting real blurry. Too many screens in front of me. So get I'm the, hoping that get this the will LASIK. Help. What are you doing? Well, I tried to get LASIK years ago and they're like, you're fine um, right now. But it seems right. like your retina is going to explode in about 20 years. So come back. Right. I'm like, I don't know what you mean by that, sir. LASIK people, if you want somebody to give some attention to your company and you want to do a great ad campaign with iHeartRadio, now is the time to reach out. Before my retinas but explode. Alternatively, you look nice in glasses. They look Thank nice you. on you. You Thanks look so professional. We'll see and how long it lasts. But uh, right now, my eyes be hurting. So hopefully this helps. Uh, my latest experience in this realm was just yesterday, actually. When I got a text from Dylan and it was like, hey, I'm going to the glasses place. And I was like, the glasses cool. place. Yeah. <laughs> so going to the, he, I don't think he called it an optometrist. He's, he, he talks differently in text. Very short. And he's like, going to the glasses place. And I go, okay. And then I went with uh, Courtney to do what I always do each day to Make go love. for a walk, a, a post love making walk with that. lady. And we go out to do our walk. And when we do this, I don't touch my phone. So like, I either leave the phone behind. It's in one of those pockets of the day, one of the very few pockets where I get away from screens and electronics. And so I go out. I come back to Dylan has sent me no less than 10 text messages. Oh, God. The text messages that we're following up were saying that I'm on the way to the eye doctor. I'm going to get eyeglasses when I get there. I need the HSA spending card. I need the three digits on the back of it. I need X. I need Y. I need Z. I need, it's going to be a hundred dollars, dad. It's going to be a hundred dollars. And then I go, Oh, uh, what happened? And he said, Oh, I I didn't get the numbers from me. So I just put it on my card. And I said, Oh, you did. That that sucks. And he said, yeah, it was $400. Okay. How'd it go go from 100 to $400? (laughs) We really, we, we really jumped off. We went from a hundred to 400. 
And then I looked into it and $200 for the lenses and the frames is not like insane for, for prescription glasses, but he got talked into the, by the salesperson to getting two of them, obviously, because he's a uh, sucker. For, uh, oh, he's, you need two pairs. Why not get two pairs? And then he goes, well, can you give me the information? So he goes, he goes back to the optometrist, cancels the payment on his uh, bank card, and then puts it on the HSA card. And I go, just so you know, the money on an HSA card is not like magical money that nobody pays for. <laughs> what it's you're from doing medical is, Jesus. You're like, you're getting rid of the money you paid for your own thing, and you're like, this would be a whole lot more convenient if my dad paid for this instead because that's what HSA money is. That's where that's coming from. And he's like, no, 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 it would be a lot better. You know, I got, and then, then he sob stories me. He's like, you know, the dog, I got to bring the dog in to get fixed. He's got a new puppy, cute little he dog. He got a dog? I don't know why he did that, but what he did. What dog? I don't know. I don't know what kind of dog it is. It's some little thing, and it's pretty adorable. I haven't seen gonna... anything on his social media about it. Exactly. I think he's it posted it somewhere. Is it cute now, and it's going to be like 150 pounds? It looks bit? to me like a dog that is going to stay pretty small. Uh, I'll, I'll have to ask him. I'll text him during the break and see what kind of dog it is. But, yeah, that was my uh, latest experience with that. Can you see well, though, with them on? You see good now? Yeah, these aren't, like, uh, lenses to improve my sight. They're for the... Uh, for the, screens? For screens. Because mm -hmm. I've been, I mean, especially yesterday, looking at my phone, and it was just, like, I could not focus at yeah. all. Until I, like, kind of just closed my eyes really tight. And I freaked out, and I would open them. I would have about 15 seconds before it got blurry again. Oh, did you? So maybe I have like a tumor. Is it like lights coming in? Like, yeah, yeah. Like you stared into a, a light bulb or something? And I, I shut the laptop until the next day because I could not do anything else. Wait, too yeah. blurry. I had to use a magnifying glass to go through an Uber Eats menu. <laughs> it was so that embarrassing, man. So old. I know, but I, it shouldn't wait, wait, be wait, happening wait. to me. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you like uh, have you succumbed to turning up your uh, font size yet? No, I did yesterday, hoping that would help. It did not. Mm -hmm. I, it took an actual physical magnifying glass for me to uh -huh. read it. So uh, this <laughs> one it cleared up a little bit. So I went back to normal text. When I pick up, uh, I, I don't know if you guys are around anybody ever who has the super my high parents. font size. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I pick up one of my parents' phones and I see like. A text message or anything. I'm I mean, like, it takes him like my god, ten scrolls to go through a standard paragraph in a text yeah. message. Uh, oh, Austin, wait. aka the Silent Code on Twitch, says Sabrina looks great with those glasses on. Thanks. Mr. D Van says Sabby's glasses are the kind that a jock would take off a nerdy girl in a '90s movie before realizing <laughs> that she's as hot on the outside as she is on the inside. <laughs> Well True. Done. Was, the, yeah, I, they did star. that in what was it? Not another teen movie where they were yeah. spoofing. She's all that, and it was uh -huh. basically just take off the glasses and undo the ponytail, and they're like, yep. shake the she's hair. So hot now. <laughs> all right, quick break. When we come back, we have a big question to get into and a huge new offer for Costco fans. You might be swung over to the Costco Vine if you aren't already based just on this. Plus, your dispatches, Mike Tyson, and a whole lot more coming up next on the news, Chunky. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Traveling on I-4 this afternoon, you can expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and after State Road 429 between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. There's a couple accidents to watch out for an earlier accident on Pine Hills Road northbound between Golf Club Parkway and Silver Star Road. And authorities are still working on that accident on Sand Lake Road eastbound at Turkey Lake Road. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by InvisibleFence.com. Going stir-crazy with your pet? Invisible Fence brand works in any weather so you can stay warm while your dog gets their energy out in the yard. Their local pet experts work with you to create a customized solution tailored to fit your pet. Learn more about how pets like yours gain independence at InvisibleFence.com. The Monster Brew Bus presented by Wasi Meat Market and Just Call Mo. Indra on the go, Just Call Mo. Although the bus is sold out, you could still join us Saturday, April 13th at one of our three stops. 
Brulando Brewing, Toll Road Brewing, and Claremont Brewing. Special thanks to MCA Transportation and Jersey Mike's. Get more information at realradio.fm slash brew. That's realradio.fm slash brew. If it plugs in, turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are going to break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings, too. For a free coverage quote now, call 800-FIX-IT-77. That's 800-FIX-IT-77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800 fix at 77 Online at GoEverythingBreaks.com. How do I, Dad? Here's something I do. I write a letter to my kids every month. Yep, I write a letter and send it to my own house. I'm pin pals with my own kids. I know it sounds silly, but they love it. I don't write anything crazy. Just tell them I love them, ask them questions, whatever. Normal stuff. But when it shows up in the mailbox, I'm super dad. Write your kids letters or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassysmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up and I've already made around two, three hundred dollars. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code cool for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank that's code cool for a 25 cents per gallon bonus for the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time there's granger offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need plus you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk-free because they're backed by the state of Florida. So you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. 
best way to fight inflation is to grow your money more quickly. That's why I want to tell you about my good friends at Suncoast Credit Union, where you can earn 5% annual percentage yield on a regular 12-month share certificate or 5.25% on a jumbo certificate. With three Central Florida locations, Suncoast is your local and loyal credit union. It makes it simple to get a share certificate to fit your needs. Visit any of their new locations on South Cimarron, South Orange Blossom, or the Loop in Kissimmee, or just go to suncoastcreditunion.com to learn more. And remember, with Suncoast, you always get more love and less fees. New South Window Solutions, made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Sounds like when you play two rejoins at the same time instead You're of a voiceover. To the news, remix. Alongside it, uh, I've never done that before, but today's the day, friends. Uh, I was like, why is the, the man with the voice not screaming at me? I don't hear him. And then I said, well, I've hit two of the rejoins. That's what's going down what over here. What was the mashup? Uh, it was um, uh, St. Mesa Jungle. Okay. And uh, also it was... Uh, moving to New York by the Wombats like at that. the same time. Yeah, DJ the, the, Sean Wazen. A mashup of those two. Nice. Um, okay, we're going to get into you, your dispatches, what you got going on in your world in just a moment here. But first, uh, there's something now to encourage people to be Costco subscribers, Costco members, you might say. And if you're not a Costco member, well, there's a lot of things to draw you in. Like, they're going to be bringing the food into Costco members only very soon. So you want those sweet, cheap hot dogs where the price stays the same despite the fact that inflation is out of control. Bammo, you got to be a member over at Costco. If you want a slice of pizza, you want to buy that there, you got to be a member. A lot of perks. You want that, um, oh, what is it? They have like a rotisserie chicken that's a big deal at Costco. Oh, uh, it's not five bucks or something? Eight? Five bucks, big old rotisserie chicken, feed, feed your family probably, uh, or at least one super hungry person. And you can get all of this if you're a member over there. Plus, you go into this store, and it's the ultimate big box store where mayonnaise comes in a thing that's three feet tall, huge thing of paper towels, et cetera, et cetera. Where you shop, shop excuse me. Where you shop on not a um, regular cart, but like one of those flat shopping carts. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like the dolly. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, like a dolly. Like that's how you know you're in a place like Costco. You shop on a dolly and you just pile everything up on top of it. Uh, they've got something new for you. What is it? The warehouse retailer is now offering its U.S. members access to prescriptions for GLP-1 weight loss drugs Ooh. through its partnership with something called Sesame, a direct-to-consumer health care marketplace. Losing this, weight. Man. It just launched this week. They said weight loss subscriptions, and I go, okay, all right, what are they talking about here? Uh, they're talking about, like, the actual weight loss uh, drugs that you can take. Now, when they say GLP-1, is that are we Govies and, and the rest? Is that what they're talking about, GLP-1? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or maybe it's a, uh, it looks like it's a supplement. Um, yeah, it's all ads, first of all, that's coming through. Oh, great, yeah. This is a, a hot uh, ad keyword that you've landed on here. Uh, it says, the Sesame Weight Loss Program is as low as $179 per prescription period or subscription period. Non-members also have access to the subscription, but must pay $195 per subscription period for them to get it. All right. So everybody gets it. So GLP-1 is a glu glucagon-like peptide. Mm -hmm. is a psychological uh, hormone that has multiple actions on glucose meditation. Meditated. See, my eyes. <laughs> and they're showing, in CBS News Medi article about mediated. this, they're showing a picture of Ozempic. 
Are they? Yeah. Okay. Because I th- yeah, I think it's the semaglutide stuff, right? But like, Ozempic so- acts like a GLP one receptor antagonist. Yeah, this says GLP one you know antagonist. <laughs> no, you're, it's, it's not. There's all- no T in that word. So look, look. Agonist. Here's how it goes. Here's how it goes. It's uh, they say in, in the broad category GLP dash one, right? Overall, it's these diabetes and weight loss drugs, but it includes semaglutide and uh, dualglutide and xenotide and all these different options. So it's all of the brands, all of the types of these weight loss drugs that people are going nuts for. Now, am I crazy? But $179 to $195, even if you're not a member, that seems pretty cheap for one of these drugs to be on. But you for need three a prescription, months. right? Uh, yeah, you need a prescription, right? It says... The warehouse retailer is now offering its U.S. members access to prescriptions for GLP-1 weight loss drugs through its partnership with Sesame. Costco CFO comments, blah, 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 blah. Uh, They said Costco members can now subscribe to Sesame's weight loss program for as low as $179 per subscription period. Non-members also have access but must pay $195. So even if you weren't a Costco member, you could still get it for $195. That's huge. We are witnessing important innovations in medically supervised weight loss, says David Goldhill, Sesame's co-founder and CEO. Sesame's unique model allows us to not only make high-quality specialty care like weight loss much more accessible and affordable, but to empower clinicians to create care plans specific to individual patients, they say. Costco using new scanner, da-da-da-da. Under the subscription, Costco members can receive three months of clinical consultation, be able to suggest a clinician of their choice, have an initial live video consultation, be able to message them, yada, 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 and then you can end up getting access to the weight loss drugs for 179 with a membership. That's not bad, man. How much is that a seems, membership? A membership is, well, I don't know. Sea Lane's a member, right? Uh, or I want to say, member. I want to say, no, we're members. Oh, I want to member. I want to say the lowest one is like 60 a year. 60 wow. a year is not bad. That's okay. really cheap. To be able to get access to uh, like prescription deals and stuff like that, that's pretty good, actually. I would be okay with that. It says $60 annual membership fee includes a free household card, which mm-hmm. might mean like for the other person in the house. Yeah. Add affiliate card holders for $60 each, valid at all locations worldwide. I think I think my wife got the executive membership. Oh, Virgil on YouTube. Uh, Virgil on YouTube says it doesn't include the cost of the prescription. That's over $1,000 per month. So what does the $179 or whatever include? It says per scri- uh, subscription period. This and is confusing. Yeah. It's, uh, the, the weight, I guess maybe the weight loss program gives you access to a doctor who's going to make sure you're on the oh, right medication. Versus just getting the medication. Yes. So yeah. I know so, someone who just got the injections and they mm-hmm. paid three grand, like out of pocket. And how long does that last for? for three months. Thousand bucks. Okay. Long. Yeah. So I see what they're doing here. So you go to Costco, you get your membership. It's a little bit cheaper to get this this pass to go talk to the doctors. When you talk to the doctors, they give you a custom plan. They tell you which one you should go on, and then they give you the prescription for that medication. Then you still have to go out and buy it. So that is the, the less Less impressive, but still, I guess, something uh, for them. It's, it's weird that they would market it like that because it says runs 179 for three months. It includes consultations with a clinician and a medically appropriate treatment program, which can include medications. Some of them probably, right? Like, you know, if it's some really cheap, generic-ass drug. For shots free. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's kind of interesting, and we'll see what you think. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Send us a dispatch. We'll work in those in a moment. We're getting closer to Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul, oh, this yeah. clown match, but I'm excited for it. And I am the only one on the show who thinks that Jake Paul is going to win, that he's going to beat Mike Tyson in this fight. Simply because, uh, number one, people keep underestimating Jake Paul as a fighter. He's pretty tall. He's a pretty big guy. And he's honest to God, even though he's super hateable. Both of the Paul brothers are fairly decent boxers. Jake Paul is actually a, a pretty damn good boxer if you watch him in the ring. And Mike Tyson, even though he's the man, even though he's still tough, even though I wouldn't get in the ring with him, he's old. And I don't yeah, think that they can hang out. Have you seen his training videos? Out. His training video is impressive. 
But you got to understand, when it comes to boxing, I, I remember doing this, and, and now I have no shot at it. But one of the things that doesn't seem hard that's very hard is if you get into a ring and they start the the clock, you know, the boxing clock, and it's generally two minutes on, one minute off, right? So you start boxing for two minutes, full-on boxing, as if you're sparring, you know, your partner, you're in there like you're like a real fight. And you get through two minutes, and then you get to your one-minute break. And then you're fine in the first round. You're fine in the second round. But, man, third, fourth, fifth round, when you start to get up there in age, you are hurting. So all Jake Paul has to do is hold Tyson to three, four, five rounds, and he's going he's gonna to beat him. He's going to TKO him if he's able to hold him that long. I say Tyson's still fast. I say he's still strong. I just say he can't, he can't win. But what they're doing here is fishing in two ponds for this fight, all right? And I love, love, love what they're doing here. So you got Jake Paul and the world that he taps into, other YouTube creators like KSI and all, all the world of the influencers, the young side of marketing, right? The whole side that launched their energy drink and, and all of that. And then on the other side, you have Mike Tyson, who has a direct line into the millennials, Gen X, and even the boomers. Yes, the boomers, too, know who Mike Tyson is. So they're sending Mike Tyson over to promote this fight on places like Fox News. And listen to how they're pitching this. They're like, they're pitching it through like Sean Hannity interviews as you got to kick that punk's ass. We got to take down this annoying little brat. And here they go. Ready? This is called the exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. I don't, I don't think he's faster than me. I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not yeah. the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. Will you please? So he's talking to Sean Hannity, and now Sean Hannity's like, will you please beat him up, basically, is what he's saying. Because he's annoying, you know? So it's like boomers are going to get fired up to see the old school Mike Tyson beat up the new school mistaken. kid. mistaken. Will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. Right now, I'm fr I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become. I'm scared to death. Reality. Mm -hmm. And in reality, I'm invincible. You, you want to teach him a lesson. Oh, my God. I will do just that, but dislike him? No, I don't. I do not have no grudges against him. He's beautiful. No, <laughs> he's beautiful. I, I like it though. He's like, you're gonna beat him up. Please tell me you're gonna beat this punk up. It's such. It's like a boomer marketing it tactic. It really is. You get Mike Tyson out like, there and he'll finally, kick the annoying. We get to kick all the young people's asses through uh -huh. Mike Tyson. Genius well, no move. No idea who you are, probably. I mean, we were alive. And okay, there will be a lot of people who hard disagree with this, but I think some of the best sports promotion I have ever seen in my life, we were alive for, and it was when Conor McGregor was getting ready to do the boxing match. Right? With Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Oh, yeah, with Floyd, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. And so remember, you mentioned that because I was literally just looking that up. Were you? Yeah. And, and, and remember they went on the tour – and they would broadcast the two of them at these tour stops where they were just on stage S-talking each other. And they were just yelling at each other, you know, I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, you can't read a page from Harry Potter. You know, that was 50 Cent. But, you know, <laughs> they're just trash-talking each other on stage over and over and over That's again. That's okay. 50 has his sights on Puffy now. Yeah. That, I'll pay for that one, too. I'd watch that uh, match. But what happened was they built up so much anticipation in, in this that everybody under the sun wanted to watch those two fight each other. It became a huge to do. Everybody wanted to watch it. Now that's what they're trying to do with the Paul brother, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. But Mike Tyson brings in the oldos and Jake Paul brings in these young Will folks. Will you please give him a spanking? And, and we can I just like that. be quiet. Like, I like that your dad and your grandpa are at home and they're like, oh God, please kick this punk's ass. Hey, YouTuber, my God, it's not a real job. And then younger people are like, you know, you got to do it for us. You got to do it for uh, the, the new generation of fighters. Show them that we mean business. It's a brilliant move, marketing-wise. Uh, okay, uh, let's go over to you. Let's work in some dispatches. We got a bunch of people with comments on things that we've talked about so far. And here is one of them. Tyler is talking about the weight loss stuff. 
Here we go. Howdy ho, news junkie. Hey! Hey, I just wanted to comment on the whole weight loss drug. So the reason why they go through the whole consultation and the reason why they say it may include prescription medicine uh -huh. is because they're actually trying to see in that consultation if you medically need a reason to be put on this drug. Right. Just because you're fat, it does not mean that you should be put on this drug. The reason why I know this is someone in my family is going through this right now, and they cannot physically exercise to lose the weight due to back problems. So the doctor put her on that, and then now she's able to lose the weight. She's slowly able to exercise again yeah. and get going, and she's able to uh, lean off of the, this medicine. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. It, it makes sense. There's a it, it, there's an, a reason for Costco and other companies to try to pull in these folks because if it's covered by insurance, they probably get a sweet deal with this company they're working with, right? And everybody makes a whole bunch of money. And if it's not, then, you know, they try to go some kind of other route or whatever. I still stand by if anybody is determined to be um, morbidly obese by their physician, they ought to get one shot at this. Because it's better for everybody to come down in weight. Now, I wouldn't want to fund this for people to do every summer so they can get back in beach body shape. I wouldn't want to do this for people to yo-yo diet. But one shot at it, that, that would be good, I think. That would be a good thing. Mike on YouTube says, Tyson is not a boomer. Well, of course Tyson's not a boomer. Tyson's probably Gen X would be my guess. Uh, like smack dab in the middle of Gen X. But Tyson, as Gen X, can speak to the boomers. He can talk to them. And he can talk to the millennials who he's closer with. So what I'm saying is, marketing-wise, you shape this into something that's a battle of the generations. The generational forces. In our world, well, if you're a Gen X person, at least, or a boomer, Mike Tyson is the biggest boxer you probably remember. Boomers might say Ali Frazier, and they might go back further. George Foreman, they might go to that. But modern day, they'll probably say Mike Tyson was the man. He was the guy. And younger people will be like, we don't know all those old boxers. Boxing's stupid anyways. Nobody actually watches boxing. Everybody just watches these kind of uh, exhibition, uh, exhibition matches. Because those are more exciting and those are more fun. That's where the hype is. So I think that's what they're doing here. And well, because I, I think, outside of the exhibition matches, you have to have, actually be following these people and know, you know give a crap what, what their record is or mm -hmm. whether or not they're going to, or you think they're going to win. And you don't most times. No. At least I don't think so. Here's Afflicted. It says Super Sabrina. What's up, junkies? Hey. I feel like we've got a definite uh, Clark Kent Superman thing oh. going on here where all he had to do was just put on glasses for uh -huh. a completely different identity and nobody knew about it. But Sabrina and puts on glasses. Everyone's like, what's going on? Whoa. <laughs> They're not really <laughs> you, you helping. You can see that. Yeah, so that's definitely a flaw in the uh, comic book thing. But uh, you know what? Whatever. Looking good. Kill it. Thank you, Afflicted. Appreciate you. I just have to rip off my shirt and stay away from, what was it again? Kryptonite. Uh, Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah, that's the bad stuff. You don't want that. Uh, all right, when we come back, we'll tee up for the next episode and Fritz on the Street. Also, I got a question for everybody, and it happened again in New York City. Son of a bitch, what went down this time? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio it, it, it is. Monsters in the morning. You would go do a Chippendale for a bunch of ladies uh, if you thought you can get away with it. Yeah, right now I keep getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> the Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Traveling on I-4, you can expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching the beach line. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429 or the Greenway. There's a bit of delay still due to an accident on Pine Hills Road northbound between Golf Club Parkway and Silver Star Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Power on this spring and summer with Batteries Plus. In stores and online, too, you'll find batteries for your car, RV, boat, motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, and more. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of over 700 locations today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. 
With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. Located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harry's sip and savor. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is ragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant, the Improv Comedy Club, is becoming the Funny Bone. Enjoy the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience at Point Orlando. The Funny Bone welcomes Matt McCusker, who is a comedian, writer, and proud co-host of Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast on April 5th and 6th. Followed by Kev Herrera on April 12th and 13th. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the Funny Bone. Enjoying the news, Junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials. But if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Go to just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. The Big Take from Bloomberg News brings you what's shaping the world's economies with the smartest and best-informed business reporters around the world. We cover the stories behind what's moving money in markets and help you understand what's happening, what it means, and why it matters every afternoon. I'm Sarah Holder. I'm Saleha Mosin. And I'm David Gura. Listen to The Big Take on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Big Take. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total...
If you miss any of the show, go to thenewsjunkie.com and subscribe to the podcast so you can keep up with what's happening with the three best friends you never knew you had as we cruise through the most viral stories of the day. And also, you can just learn more about the show and dive deeper in and even join the show with your dispatches over on the website. Again, that's thenewsjunkie.com. And we've been watching these stories. There's been a whole rash of these stories of people getting punched in the face in New York City, mostly women in this sort of like viral round of stories. And now we have another one. Today when I saw this, I was like, here we go. A, a man wanted for allegedly punching a woman in Chelsea in Manhattan as videos of women discussing being attacked in New York City have gone viral on social media over the last several Facebook. weeks. Over on Instagram, that there. Sorry, see this woman had a nose injury and was taken to the hospital. So last time and... we talked about this, we thought maybe it was just one guy. Found out that one, one person, at least the mm -hmm. very first story, Haley, I believe her name, that man was arrested. Yep. Must still be in jail, so clearly it's other people. Oh, I don't know. In New York, you get City, out of jail pretty quick yeah. in New York. Well, yeah. Then I guess I will see. They they have an unfortunate revolving door set up where they tried to bust this cash bail thing, which isn't a bad idea all the way around, but is a bad idea in practice as they're trying to do it because you just have people who get arrested over and over and over again. It's like the shoplifting thing where they said. A decent amount of New York City shoplifting was committed by just a handful of people who they kept arresting and then releasing, 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 releasing. And you go but like, with what the, the hell? Self, though, that, I mean, a, that would be, that's a violent crime. I know. You would think that it would hold them uh, behind bars for longer, but it doesn't always happen in New York City, unfortunately, uh, because of the way the prosecutor there works. And uh, they're, they're running down a lot of parts of the city. People don't want to live like this. People don't want to be worried about getting punched by some random mentally ill person on their way to work or school. Can you imagine? And look, New York has its its bright spots. I'm not saying that it's the hellscape. I'm saying I would let, never live in New York. I don't I have no interest in living in New York. I had opportunities to live in New York and work in New York on multiple occasions. I would never do it. Moving forward, it would never be a thing for me, right? Not happening. But... I could see some of the, the bright spots of the city and the fun things you could do and the food and the entertainment and the experience. However, if I'm paying ridiculous, and I mean ridiculous, outlandish amounts of money to live in a city, I'm paying $4,000 a month, $5,000 a month for a basic-ass apartment in Manhattan, not barely if I'm lucky, you know, Queens, and... I'm also paying taxes out, out the ass. I'm going to be real pissed when I can't even guarantee the safety of family members just walking around that city. And you could argue like you can't ever guarantee the safety of people, but it seems to be worse in New York right now. Just random people getting punched in the face is not a great advertising campaign. I mean, for it's him. widespread enough that they spoofed it on SNL over the weekend. Sure. Yeah. And that means something, whether people think it uh, does or not is a different thing, but that means something because it's going to go into the psyche of people who are looking to go to a city like that. Hey, where do you want to go uh, in, uh, in in the summer months? Do you want to go to Miami? You're like, okay, I'll weigh that. Do you want to go to New York City? Oh, do you have a helmet? Yeah. You know, do you want to go to uh, like uh, Dallas? You know, there's going to be different places and they're going to be desirable for different reasons. I told but Ashley, I was like, imagine if we, you know, if if we didn't have the kid right now and we tried to go, uh, all right, you know, uh, we're we're gonna go to New York for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there would be someone. It's like you gotta watch out there. You shouldn't go there. They're they're gonna punch you in the face. Yeah, and you know what? Despite all of his failings, and good God, does the man have some failings? Good God, did the man burn more credibility than almost anybody else I've ever seen? Rudy Giuliani, while he was the mayor of New York City. The city, you know, of course, they had some issues, you know, not 11 and all, but the city they got was, a person of the year. Uh, yeah, right. The, the city was in much better shape in terms of just the mentally ill population, people not getting help on the streets, people being in danger. Uh, there were some improvements, I think, in that world. And I think people recognize that women don't want to be wandering around in a city where they pay an arm and a leg and just getting punched in the face by crazies. 
they're able to ignore this or, or halt this or stop this from being a major issue in a lot of other cities. They're New already York getting City. punched in the wallet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they are, really, truly. Uh, Marie on YouTube says, Sean, I have faith in you to be honored, uh, and I'd be honored if you pick me for Fritz on the Street. Oh, nice, nice time. move. Nice move. Good timing, by the way. Good timing. But will it get you in, Maria? I don't know. We shall see. Or will Sean punch you in the face? I'm not punching anybody in the face. It would take a lot for me to punch a woman in the face. I mean, I would punch a woman in the face, but it would take a lot. <laughs> cool. I, I, I'm not trying to say that to be cool. I'm, I'm trying to say that because if there was a reason for me to punch a woman in the face, I will punch a woman in the face. I stand by the idea that to categorically say you won't punch anybody. Like, I've seen videos of uh, some dude... And there's a woman on the streets, and she's just decking him over and over. And he's like, his, his, his face getting bounced around all over the place. And uh, you can't hit a woman. If somebody's attacking you over and over you and over that again, woman. You, could, you could defend yourself. You could stop an oncoming attack, whether it's a woman or not. Or a kid. I stand by that, too. I will swat the hell out of a kid. I will knock a kid out if a kid is attacking me. I could never see myself so cucked an individual that I would be on the streets and be like, oh, he's hitting me. Yeah, but like yeah. that was. A, he's a kid. Not for nothing. That was what we were told in grade school. We were only allowed to, if somebody was hitting us, mm -hmm. we were only allowed to put up like our hands and block them. We weren't allowed to hit back. If we hit back, we're fighting too, and you're suspended. That's dumb. I would I thought I it never was abide by that. Real it's stupid. And as a, a, a dad, if my son gets in trouble for doing something where he's defending himself, I'm 100% behind it almost at all, all times. But the, the ideal thing, and I hope all of us can gather together on this. that's why Dylan killed the guy. <laughs> that's how Dylan finally, you know, you know, stood up to his bullies and killed the guy. I know this is a radio now show. He has glasses. Uh, but I got two things for you guys, okay? Two pairs? No. Spe speaking of Dylan, check this out. He just sent this to me. All right, I know, I know it was a radio show, but take a look. This is him. Oh, like tw oh wow. 12, oh. It's like 12 years ago now where Dylan was in the radio station when we were doing the show. Look at that crusty-ass room. Yeah. Look what at a that cutie broadcast pie. He was so, this is like the last vestiges of him being a little kid. Like when I would take him to Halloween Horror Nights and he would grab onto me and be scared and stuff. And uh, this is now like you a lie detector. For that? Yes, I do, indeed. Uh, i got to get out of this, so uh, there we go. Uh, the other thing was he uh, sent over his dog, because you asked what kind of dog oh, he yeah, has. Yeah. Still don't know, but it looks like this. Uh, it's oh, just a little, it's a thing. A it's a little oh. thing of sorts. Uh, I'll put it up on the See It Now section of the News Junkie app so you can take a peek, since it is indeed a visual. Is that covered we'll by get... HSA as well? I hope so, but probably not. No, it's not. It's just genuinely, just unfortunately it's covered not. by SHA. WN. WN. We'll get to all that and more in a moment. Send us your dispatch right now. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. When we return the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? Oh, I can't wait to tell all of you. Coming up on the next episode. Over 200 artists used ChatGPT to write an open letter to warn us about AI's threat to artists. Jenny from the Block did the old Control-Z on her tour's name after finding out no one likes her new music. Plus, Forbes is here to remind us how poor we are yet again, but this time with billionaires. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. Today is a Fox 35 storm alert day for the possibility of severe thunderstorms. This afternoon in Orlando, between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., that could result in some delayed releases at school when you're going to pick up the kids and likely a wet commute. There could be downpours continuing. 
But otherwise, it'll be a quiet morning. Highs today around 85 degrees. Gusty winds over 40 miles per hour. But inside of storms, winds could gust over 60. I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner for Fox 35. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most, attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. I had my first kid at 19, and this is going to sound strange, but the best advice I can give to other young dads is stay. I wanted to run away. I wanted to just keep living my own life, but I chose to be her dad, and now I'm, uh, I'm glad I did. I can't imagine my life without my daughter, and I can't imagine making her grow up without a dad. Dads, today may feel hard, but it's always the right choice to be a father first. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In office Orlando. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to Wasi's Meat Market dot com for your big green egg today when you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing it's the sheet less static in your life yeah it's the sheet smelling fresher than ever it's the sheet oh so soft fabric Ooh la la it's the sheet less wrinkles on your clothes you know it's the sheet Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. If it plugs and turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because everything breaks. It's a fact. Things in your home are going to break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings, too. For a free cover quote now. Call 800-FIX-IT-77. That's 800-FIX-IT-77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800-FIX-IT-77. Online at GoEverythingBreaks.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. <laughs> Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. 
Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This. All things happening in the world of entertainment and beyond. All right, Fritz is around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we got Fritz on the street. All Coming here. up in just a bit here, so everybody get geared up for that right now. Let's jump into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV, and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Dergeron, bring it over here now, as quickly as you can. I am a robo. <sighs> Nothing. Weather's nice. <laughs> it's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey. Smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Hold up. The next episode brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. At mortgageguydon.com. And of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. Refinancing, buying your first dream home, perhaps looking for a commercial loan, SBA loan. A, um, a HELOC, all the things and more you got to work with, an expert, a friend, someone who's part of the Real Radio family, most importantly, someone who has your best interest in mind, and that's That Mortgage Guy Don. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the book, compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. It was a mere 28 years ago, 1996, that this guy right here said he couldn't touch this, and this being his money. Hammer. Nailed it. It was on this day he filed for bankruptcy, or at least the protection of uh, East Bay Rapper. This is the actual article from 1996. They were nice enough to put it on the Internet. Ooh. They said uh, he had assets of only $1 million and debts totaling at least $10 million. Jeez. Jesus. What's even weirder, he was 32 at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, he was on. He was on top of the world, though. That was like uh, on the levels of Vanilla Ice fame for a oh. hot minute. Also, you know? I told you I saw. Yeah, I sent you guys the video. What? I saw Vanilla Ice recently. They had the I Love the '90s oh, concert yeah, over yeah, in Orlando at, City. Yes. How was that? Was it fun? Oh, it was a great time. Who Montel, else played? It was Vanilla Ice and Montel Jordan. Oh, oh nice. And Rob Bass. Hell nice. yeah. And Rob Bass and Montel did a killer job. Like nostalgia, train, high speed style. What about uh, Vanilla? Vanilla. Did not do a good job. <laughs> he packed uh, that stage with so many things I didn't, I couldn't find him. He had a blow up polar bear that was dancing around. Nice. He had what seemed to be like a mirrored chess piece Joker person, as well as Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. And All then right. <laughs> so, okay. It was a whole thing. And, Not even the uh, most popular Ninja Turtle. Wait, wait Donatello the Red? It was the red one. That's Raphael. Uh, Raphael. Raphael. Donatello, Donatello was the guy who had the bow staff. Yeah, right. Purple. Yeah, right. Well, he had one of the Ninja Turtles, and he uh, he did the whole song and all the remixes of it. So MC Hammer on this day filed for bankruptcy. Don't know how much money he's uh, making now, but hopefully not any more debt. Uh, this is the complete opposite of debt. It's actually... The billionaires of the world. Yeah. Forbes 2024 list of celebrity billionaires has been released. Mm. And we'll start at number 14. Taylor Swift, everybody. 1.1 nice. billion buckaroos. That's it? That's it. LeBron James, Magic Johnson, and Law & Order creator Dick Wolf are at tied for 11th place at 1.2 you know billion. When everybody says they hate billionaires, I don't think they hate the list of people that you're doing right now. I think yeah. everybody thinks Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. I think they hear stories like this week, Jeff Bezos bought his third house in Miami in this neighborhood he's in for $80 million. $80 now he has million. three like $80 million houses in one neighborhood. And everybody's like, screw that guy. And then they hate billionaires and they you know, want to tar and feather him. Yeah, I what's don't the think point of three houses in one neighborhood, though? 
Because he's a weirdo. You don't I, like your neighbors. I, yeah, you don't want Airbnb? you don't want any neighbors. You just want like to own all of the places around you. You don't want anybody to be near you. Jumping in on that. Rich. It's like, but, you know, no one says Paul McCartney sucks. No. You know, it's like no. everyone likes and, him. And I don't think well, people losers are like, say that. I don't think people are like LeBron James, you know, there should be no LeBron James and and uh, he sucks cuz he's a billionaire. I don't think people feel that way. I think people only look at the, like the mega rich weirdos like your you know, Amazon Bezos dudes. I just didn't realize that they're all in the billionaires club already. I, it's a I, lot. I read the same list a couple of years ago, and that was uh, was not in the billion status. But here we are. Tyler Perry and Rihanna tied for $1.4 billion. Peter Jackson, $1.5 bill. Kim Kardashian, $1.7. Jay-Z, now we're getting to the twos, people. Jay-Z, $2.5 billion. Ooh. Oprah Winfrey, how much do you think she done made? Damn, I am she's really surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I am stunned that she's that far up there. She's three she's billion? Two point eight. Very close. All right. Michael Jordan at number three. Man. Three point two billion. Man, and at there number is number two. There is money in the world of, of athletic shoes. Like mm. there is just crazy money in that. And even more money in movies. And I guess Movies from back in the day, because at number two, Steven Spielberg, four point eight billion dollars. And at number one, also a director. Would you like to take a guess? Uh, a director of movies. A director of movies. Steven Spielberg. Who's the Avatar guy? Steven Spielberg was the the uh, number George two. Lucas. Oh, okay. George no. Lucas is oh. right. Oh. The Force was with him five point five billion dollars. Wowza. Um, and now we're back to the poor O's. Poor ticket sales, to be exact. And this gal? J-Lo. J-Lo is right, and she just tiptoed her way to the the old typewriter and renamed her entire tour after suffering weak ticket sales. Mm-hmm. Now, she had canceled some shows and reimagined some other shows, and now the entire tour, which was once called This Is Me Now, is now called This Is Me. Live, the greatest hits. Oh, <laughs> so that's no okay. New music. All right. Uh, doesn't come to much of a surprise. A few weeks ago, she canceled seven tour stops, likely due to weak ticket sales. Damn. And the ticket sales may be even weaker when we're watching robots. <laughs> According to the Artist Rights Alliance, ARA, they have issued an open letter condemning the use of AI to infringe upon and devalue the rights of artists. We have over 200 artists that have signed this open letter. Uh, Billie Eilish, R.E.M., Casey Musgraves, Elvis Costello, Nicki Minaj, um, Amy Mann, Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss, good for you. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Yeah, Cheryl Crow, uh, John Bon Jovi, and the list goes on and on. The artist-run nonprofit organization asks that developers, technology companies, and platforms and digital music services pledge that it will not develop or deploy AI music generation technology, content, or tools that undermine and replace the human artistry. To that I say, good luck. Because that's going to be cheaper for them and they get to make more money. But we'll yeah. see how that all I don't want to take down. too much of your time up, but it is super interesting to me that AI always matters when it comes for you. And so, like, the people who are artists and they're musicians, they're like, we can't let AI take over no music. Way. This is the most important thing. And it's like, hey, where are you screaming when AI is taking the entry-level jobs from every single well, city in the United States? that was what the States. strike was mostly about last year, right? It, it, they have their own beefs, but it's like AI is not just important when it comes for you and your industry's jobs. It's coming for everybody's jobs. Mm-hmm. And I, but then I have, like, reports like this. According to a study published by Scientific Reports, uh, lyrics have become stupider. They're mm-hmm. getting dumber. So we might need some AI. Uh, if you think song lyrics are getting dumb, like the pop songs, where they're simpler and more repetitive and easier to understand since the 1980s, it's because it's true. Major genres like rap, country, pop, R&B, and rock say a number of different words used within a song has decreased, particularly in rap and rock songs. But the number of words with three syllables or more has actually increased in rap. Researchers mm-hmm. also found that lyrics have become more emotional and personal and anger-related words have increased across all genres. And that makes me... Getting angry. angsty. Yeah, Damn. just a little bit. Um, and then I get news like this that is going to please me and C. Lane's wife. The doctors uh, are back, baby. Oh, you know it, Sean. Uh, uh, the Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy is right and has been renewed for its 21st season. 
on ABC. This makes it the longest running medical drama in TV history. Wow. And I'm here for it. I've been watching that show since I was 16 years old. That's crazy. It's the only show that I've done that religiously. 44 years. Holy cow. Yeah. Is she off the Stunk. beach? Uh, she is off the beach, out of the coma. I'm watching the new season now, and she's made all of one appearance, but she's narrating everything, so that, of course, mm. makes sense why she gets paid, like, $25 million an episode or something like that. But oh, my God. I think I made up that number, but it's up there for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, do I have time for a little? Yeah. Uh-oh. Someone, excuse me? He said quickly, quickly bitch. Oh. Well, someone is in trouble. Another day, another lawsuit filed against who? You can guess. Come on. Puff Daddy. Uh, nope. No. no, no That's a good guess. Um, uh, another Brian day, Peck. Another... What's up? Oh, oh Scoopity poop. And this time, a former employee of Yeezy and Donna Academy, Trevor Phillips, has made serious allegations against the rapper. Claimed that uh, the last time we heard about the Donda Academy, it was shut down. And mm -hmm. that they he didn't want any windows, right? Right. And everyone um, was to wear black. Yeah. Now it claims the rapper wanted to cage students, put them in All actual right. cages. Allegedly, That's cool. What a genius. It's starting to sound like Not the right. program. Uh, yeah. I started watching that on Netflix. It is. Oh, the program's insane. Interesting. Very much. Um, and allegedly threatened to punch Mr. Trevor Phillips and a lot more. Latest suit was filed over the week, joining a number of former employees that are suing the 46 year old, spans 42 pages. It highlights the experiences working for the controversial artists, and it details instances of abrupt dismissals, late-night meetings, uh, peculiar activities like watching movies on mute, and uncomfortable <laughs> encounters involving inappropriate behavior. Without captions? By Wes. No, just completely silent. He's so. a different guy. He's, you, uh, you can't say he's boring. It's going to look I'll great on their too. college resumes, for sure. Uh, I don't even know if that school is accredited after no. all that. <laughs> that's, that's probably the worst part of it all. It's not even open. On the boob tube. We got The Masked Singer on Fox, American Horror Story on FX. You can catch the second season premiere of Loot on Apple TV+. Plus. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson will be smelling and cooking on Fallon. Follow your dreams on me on Instagram, at Sabrina Ambra. Still looking for a player on Fritz on the Street. And I just remembered the guy from yesterday who said I ignore him. Oh, well, maybe next week. I'm a PC. Uh, say it with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. When we come back, as you heard, Fritz on the Street is coming up next. That means we fight for you. We represent one of you each in Fritz on the Street. I do, Sabrina does, and C Lane does. If we win, you win. In this case, you get your hands on the newly designed Fritz magnet, which we'll learn the name of. We'll figure out more about as time rolls on here. And then we'll get them out to the first winners, including somebody it's going to win today. Who's it going to be? Let's see. Get our attention right now. Fritz on the Street is coming up next on the News Junkie. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for this afternoon. Ivy Mist Lane at Orange Blossom Trail. And authorities are clearing up an accident on LB McLeod Road eastbound at Rio Grande Avenue. There's slowdowns on State Road 429 northbound approaching Florida's Turnpike. And delays on I-4 eastbound before US-27 and after State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. 
Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solar SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. Call now. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the NG Law from Kaufman Lynn. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. In the state of Florida, it's actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Coffin Lind. For more information, contact me at WinnieDS.com or dial pound 546 on your cell. Office Orlando. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water, but it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions, or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty, or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba da ba 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 at participating McDonald's. When we made our McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out, and you were streaming tears emoji. Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. Spicy chicken McNuggets are back for a hot minute at McDonald's. Now get 20% off any purchase of $5 or more when you order in the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Offer valid through April 21st, 2024 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Must opt into rewards. Exclusive tax. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. If you need new windows or doors for your home, heads up. This message is for you. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off high-performance award-winning windows. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. 40% off our factory direct products installed. Bring in your measurements for on-the-spot pricing or call today. One day only, this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at New South Window. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. As a military dad, I'll admit my first deployment didn't go great for my kids. I wasn't ready. 
So every time I'm gone, I just focus on doing small things better. I schedule video calls during their dinner so we can still eat together. I read books they're reading so we can talk about them. <laughs> I send them an email every day. It just takes a little effort, but it's worth it, guys. Dads, duty matters in and out of uniform. So choose to be a father first today. Testing live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio. Now back to the most viral newsroom on planet Earth. This. The greatest game in all of radio. And this, friends, is where it goes down. So get ready. And uh, I'm looking right now at chat. I'm going to decide on the fly. Zephyr's Biker is who I'm going to be representing in Fritz on the Street. All right. Zephyr's Biker on YouTube is who I'm representing. Sabrina, have you chosen somebody for the showdown on Fritz on the Street to represent? Sure did. And I'm going to go with I'm a PC. All right, I'm a PC, as promised, from Sabrina. What about you, C-Lane? I picked Bad Mama Jamma. All right, Bad Mama Jamma. And we're all ready to go. Now the most important question. Fritz, are you all ready to go? I think so. All right. Well, by the way, do you have a name for the new Fritz magnet that's going to be, be debuted soon here? Yeah, I was inspired by uh, Vinny with the new pink drum heads and also Brett Hitman Heart, so I want to call it the Hitman. The ah. Hitman, I like it. Right. All right. That'll debut soon. You'll see the new design only available in Game of Magnets if you are a winner along with us and Fritz on the Streets. So here goes nothing. Let's do Fritz on the Streets. Now it's time for Fritz on the Streets. Hello, C Lane. Hello, Sean. Hello, Sabrina. Hi, Fritz. Hey, Fritz. Fritz on the Street is sponsored by Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go. Just call Mo 866 Call Mo. That number 866 Call Mo. In first place with 86 points, we have Mr. Christopher Lane. Yeah. In second place, just three points removed with 83 points, we have Miss Sabrina Ambra. Oh, okay. And in third place with 77 points, six points removed from Sabrina, we have Mr. Sean Wasson. Oh. So we have 86, 83, 77. It's still anyone's game. All lots, right. lots of Fritz on the street left. Uh, you know the drill, eight questions, four current event questions, four general knowledge trivia questions. If you think you know it, chime in for that opportunity for a bonus point. How was the dais last night at uh, Fritz's Funhouse Trivia? It was good. We had uh, eight teams. Um, we had eight people stick around for Fritz on the street. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. Oh, so All everyone right. is included. Yeah. As far as the people who mm -hmm. were recorded. Okay. Also, Obi-Wan Canoli makes a prediction. Glasses Sabrina will win today. So mm, I hope you the didn't glasses and the focus may bring you home. We'll see how it shapes out. All okay, right. We'll, see. well, who knows? We have a uh, question. One, number one, we're going to start with because I don't have anything pulled up. Of course. Here we go. Um, I don't know. Question number one. On Thursday, a bus with Sabrina. East Sabrina. That was in um, Gaza. That is incorrect. On Thursday, a bus with Easter pilgrims went off a bridge, killing 45 people in which African country? Sea wow. Lane. Sea Lane? South Africa. That is correct. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Total guess. Almost went with North Africa. Sea Lane. Out of, <laughs> out of eight answers, how many do you think said South Africa? One. One. Can you repeat the question again? You know I can. On Thursday, a bus with Easter pilgrims went off a bridge, killing 45 people in which African country? Mm, I will go with four. Four. Four, Sabrina. Wow. Um, zero. Zero for Sean. Question number one with answers of zero, one, and four. 
Ding, 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 ding. So let's pick it up two points. On Thursday, a bus with Easter pilgrims went off a bridge killing 45 people in which African country? Uh, South Africa. That is correct. Oh. Ghana? Was it in Nigeria? Cote d'Ivoire. Nigeria? Egypt. Damn it. Chad? Nigeria? That would be one. So Sealand is hitting a three-pointer to start the game. And Sean, with a guess of zero, picked up one point. Yeah. We now move on to question two. The Titanic sank while on its way to what city? Same. Sea Lane? New York. New York is correct. Sea Lane, out of eight answers, how many do you think said New York City? Seven. Seven. And uh, five. Five for Sean. Six. And six for Sabrina. Question two. With answers of five, six, and seven. The Titanic Damn sank it. while on Eight. its way to what city? New York. New York. New York. New York. New York. New York, right? Uh, New York. New York. That would be eight. Mm. So C Lane with a guess of seven, pick it up one point. We're now moving on to question number three. This was big news. Um, saw this on USA Today, I think. Which Orlando City Commissioner was arrested? C Lane? Hill. Hill is correct. Which Orlando City Commissioner was arrested and charged with seven felonies after allegedly defrauding a 96-year-old woman? Regina Hill is correct. C Lane, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Regina Hill? Uh, ooh. Yeah, it was big news in the USA Today, but I mean, it was bigger news Here. in the yeah. place where you asked the questions. I'm going to say five. Five? Six. Hey, they removed her from her, her post, right? Yeah. Suspended, DeSantis suspended her. Suspended her. Yeah. Sabrina says six? Yes. Uh, I'll say seven. And seven for Sean. Question three. With answers of five, six, and seven. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, well, who knows it? Which Come Orlando on. City Commissioner was arrested and charged with seven felonies after allegedly defrauding a 96-year-old woman? I absolutely remember the story. Is her name is she Regina Hill? I just moved here from Texas. I don't know that one either. Oh. Regina Hill. Regina Hill. <laughs> this one, Regina Hill. Regina Hill. Regina Hill? Damn it. Regina Hill. Regina Hill. Yes. Okay. That would be six. So Sabrina's picking up two points on that one. C Lane and Sean with a guess of five and seven, picking up one point each. All we right. move to question four. That's the halfway point here on Fritz on the Street. After question four, I'll tell you who is leading on the day. Question four goes thusly What is the name of the lead singer for the Canadian rock band Rush? Sure. Sabrina. Sabrina. Mm-hmm. That would be uh, one of my favorite lead singers. Today's <laughs> Tom Sawyer. Yeah, yeah. For the lie by night. It's, uh, it's Joe. Celan. Celan? Wait, Lee. hold on. Getty. Let's see if it's Joe. It's not Joe. Damn it. Oh. Getty Lee. Getty Lee is correct. Right. Her name is Getty. Sealand out of eight, <laughs> out of eight answers. A how, winning one in this case. Yeah. How many do you think said Getty Lee out of eight? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go f- four. Four. Oh, there should be two a for Sabrina. Getty Lee and Fetty Wap Ooh. crossover. <laughs> Getty and Fetty. Getty and Fetty would be. Ooh. And Bette Midler, but they call her Betty. Getty and Fetty and Betty. What? <laughs> that would be tight. This would take over. I'm sorry. Um. What was the thing again? <laughs> Out of eight answers, how many do you think said Getty Lee? I think it was four. Four for Sean. Question four with answers of two and four. What is the name of the lead singer for the Canadian rock band Rush? Oh, my husband would kill me, and I don't know this. Um, Sean Glenn. I'm Getty. Oh, what's his last name? John Glenn. Uh, Getty Lee. <laughs> Getty Lee. Ah, uh, shoot, man. You're killing me with these questions today. Yeah, that's a pass. Getty Lee. Getty Lee. Get, uh, uh, Getty Lee. I was a little young in the 80s. That would be five. Yeah, baby. That means Sean and C Lane with a guess of four, each picking up one point. Cool. That means four Glasses up, are off. Four down. Oh, no. <laughs> in first place with nine points, we have Christopher Lane slash Bad Mama Jamma. Ah. In second place with three points, we have Sean Wilson slash Zeph is Biker. Is it Zeph? Zephus? Zephus. I never Zephus know. Biker. Yeah, Zephus Biker. And in third place with two points, we have Sabrina Ambra slash I'm a PC. Mm-hmm. That's why I use a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Going on now to question five. That's a good computer joke. Question five. <laughs> 
I'm mean, here all week. <laughs> it sounds like it should be reassuring, but, you know. I giggled. I giggled. Question five. Last week, which former presidential running mate passed away at the age of 82? Sean. Sean? Um, uh, oh, my. Uh, oh, oh my God. The too centrist late. guy. Too late. Uh, too late. Too late. Too late. I lost. Too it. late. Yes, yeah, a pass. Yeah. Too Sabrina. Late. Sabrina. <laughs> 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 Too bad I don't know. I, um, <laughs> no, I know it. I know it. It's because uh, he ran with uh, he ran with Al. Yes. And that is Lieberman. Lieberman. Dude, what are you doing? I will go with what Lieberman. Is your Thank you so much. I didn't Lieberman. mean to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know I said it out loud. Sabrina is correct. Joe Lieberman. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I was four for four. I would have been five for five on getting the guess right. Oh, so good. Well, then I'm glad. Man. I'm glad. Uh, Sabrina, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Joe Lieberman, dead at 82? Um, I will go with five. Five? Um, Two, I'm so mad at you. Six. <laughs> six for Sean. <laughs> five. And five for C Lane. Question five with answers of five and six. I love how, like, just Son of a out of control <laughs> this game is sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Last week, which former presidential running mate passed away at the age of 82? Pass. I don't know. Joe Lieberman. I can't remember. God, no, I, I have no clue. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did. I don't. I should know. Lieberman? Joe Lieberman? Lieberman. That would be three. So mm. no points awarded on that one. Damn it. We're moving on now to question six. Which actress has had roles in films such as Beetlejuice, Thelma and Louise? Sean. Sean. Oh. Winona oh. Judd? Sealand. Oh, Sealand. Oh, no. Sealand. Sealand. Winona Ryder. That is incorrect. Ooh, can you the whole question? You no, know I can't. Which actress has had roles in films such as Beetlejuice? Thelma and Louise Son of a bitch. and a league of their own. I have her face. Oh, it's what you the know, name? tall. Yeah. Why don't you scream it out, Sean? <laughs> Why don't you just scream out what the answer is? Well, I would welcome. if I could remember her name. Um, oh my gosh, Geraldine. Uh, Someone no. is shouting at the radio right now. I know, and I'm shouting. Uh, it's, I see your face. Can I draw her? No. no. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it's um. Sandra. <sighs> Joe Lieberman? That's, that's that's that would be Lee. Gina Davis. Gina Davis! Oh! Sabrina, you got question five right. We will uh, start with you. Out of eight Gina answers, Davis. how many do you think said Gina Davis? Still good-looking woman. Lovely. Mm. Seven? Seven. Mm. Five. Five for C Lane. Four. And four for Sean. Question six with answers of four, five, and... Seven. Ding, 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 ding. Someone knows their genius. Which actress has had roles in films such as Beetlejuice, Thelma and Louise, and A League of Their Own? Um, Gina Davis. Gina Davis. I know that one. Gina Davis? Uh, Gina Davis. Winona Ryder. <laughs> you can use that against me. You want to say Winona Ryder? Winona Ryder? Gina Davis. That would be five. Yes. That means C Lane is picking up two points on that one. Sean, with your guess of four, picking up one point. We have two questions remaining. Question seven. Recently, who was sentenced to 25 years in prison? C Lane. C Lane. <laughs> <laughs> I even paused on my own air. You're like, you, you like risky business your way into that. <laughs> oh. C Lane. Uh, 25 years in prison. Yeah, that narrows it down. It does not. Sean. Uh, Whoa. Pass. All right, Sean. pass. Sean. SBF. That is correct. Sam Bankman freed or fried. Picking up that one, Sean. Is that what? Susan Sunscreen? Recently, he was sentenced to 25 years in prison after being found guilty on seven charges of fraud related to cryptocurrency is the full yeah, question. Yeah, you guys know him. He was Ewan, the yeah. big crypto company with, like, you know, they had, like, the arena sponsorships and all uh, that stuff. Yeah. yeah. He had, like, $32 billion or something, like, ridiculous, and then they found him in the Bahamas, and it was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> guess guess the jig is up. He's going to that fancy jail, isn't he? Yeah, probably. Uh, Sean, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Bankman Freed or Bankman Fried? Um, I think three. So. Three. I say six. Six Ooh. for C Lane. I will go with four. And four for Sabrina. Question seven with answers of three, four, and six. Ding, 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 ding. Who knows they're felons? Recently, who was sentenced to 25 years in prison after being found guilty on seven charges of fraud relating to cryptocurrency? 
apparently I need to read more news. I don't know. Uh, Sam Bankman Freed? Uh, Sam Bankman Freed. It's that dude who had offshores too. I don't remember his name. Can't remember his name. Sam Bankman Freed. Yeah. I, I did not remember his name. I have that habit of just Come reading on, news titles man. and not remembering names. Me too. That would be three. So Sean is hitting a three pointer on that one. And Sabrina with a guess of four, pick it up one point. Moving on now to question eight. But before we do, let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? In first place with 11 points, that's Christopher Lane slash Bad Mama Jamma. Yeah. In second place with seven points, we have Sean Wasson slash Zephyrus Biker. And Ooh. in third place with four points, Sabrina Ambra slash I'm a PC. Just happy to be here. Moving on now <laughs> to question eight. You and me both. Question eight. What is the capital of <gasps> Iowa? Sea Lane. Sea Lane. Uh, b- 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 Iowa. It would be... Sabrina. Sioux City? That is incorrect. Sabrina. Sabrina. Des Moines. Des Moines is correct. Okay. Mm. Sabrina, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Des Moines? Seven. Seven. Six. Six for C Lane. Four. Whoa. And four for Sean. Question eight. With answers of four, six, and seven. What is the capital of Iowa. I know where it is on a map, but I don't know what the capital is. Great. Des Moines. <laughs> Des Moines. Des Moines? Why can't I name any city in Iowa right now? I got nothing. Oh, my gosh. Sioux City? Um, Darcy! Des Moines? <laughs> Des Moines. That would be five. So, Sean and C. Lane with your guesses of four and six. Pick it up one point each. And we end the day in first place with 12 points. Christopher Lane slash Bad Mama Jamma. Congratulations. Yeah. So, are they getting the new magnet? Yes, that nice. will be the first in line for the brand new magnet, Very which we'll reveal cool. here a couple weeks on the show. Congratulations. In second place with eight points, Sean Wasson slash Zephyrus Biker. And in third place with five points, Sabrina Ambra slash I'm a PC. That means in first place and still leading on Fritz on the Street with 98 points, Christopher Lane. Yeah! In second place, 10 points removed with 88 points, we have Sabrina Ambra. Whoa. And in third place with 85 points, we have Sean Wasson, and that is Fritz on the Street. Thank, Thank you, you Fritz. Fritz! Thanks, Fritz. There he is, Fritz, the one, the only Fritz. And if you want to hang out with him, always, you could do that by following on Instagram. Go to no underscore regrets underscore coyote. And then you can stay on top of what's going on with Fritz's Funhouse Trivia. No matter where you're from, I want you to go at least once, if not every single week, to go hang out with Fritz. It's the best trivia night around. It's at Cabo's. The food is good. The entertainment is good. People and nice. you can even be on Fritz on the street. So follow on Instagram, no underscore regrets, underscore coyote. Fritz, are you free to hang out with us today? Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah. A question for you guys. Just wanted to throw this out there. SBF, Sam Bankman Fried, mm-hmm. who just got sent. Uh, C Lane, can you see what, how old he is? SBF, Sam Bankman Fried? I think he's 32. 32? Yeah, because right. I said 32 billion, but I think that might be his age. He's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 32. He's 32. 32, nice. Oh, my okay. God, that hair. 32. So he's 32 years old. He said that he was upset, not really just at the sentence of 25 years that he was facing down, but he said, that's it. All of his best years are now behind him, and his best thinking is behind him. Oh, poor baby. And, and like when he comes out, he's just going to be another use, useless cog in the wheel. And I thought, do you think that you do all your best thinking before you're like 25 years old? No. 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 Because I'm barely thinking. People like Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs was still innovating, coming through with breakthrough, crazy ideas when this guy was in his. 30s, his 40s, his yeah. 50s. You know, I don't know how old he was when he died, but he, Sam Bangman Fried thinks that you are done. Your brain is mush. You got no more big ideas. You can't lead things when you're past that age. And so he's done for. And Didn't he, he just feels like, like he's useless. People? He, uh, he was one of these people who didn't know how to run a business but ended up with billions of dollars. Yeah. And so then he just started lending from one business to the next oh, business. Yeah, and he I was have, like lending have, people's money. I have those uh, qualifications. I don't know how to run a business. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, but he had a billion dollars. He Hello? had a, a multiple billions and billions and billions of dollars. 
and he ended up uh, in some big trouble. Twenty five years. I would say you know uh, I'm 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 definitely writing the best songs I've ever written now as a thirty nine right year old because of the you know like I guess experience. But you know yeah. when you're twenty five, you think right out of college that you're ready to you know take the bull by the horns. I guess. So I he, think you're right. He's whining that like his best years are going to be behind him. He's going to be fifty seven when he gets out. I think he still has yeah. opportunity to like live a fulfilling life. Yeah, you know, the judge said one thing about him before his sentencing. I want to talk about that. I want to see what people think about that. It's not the first time I've heard this in the last couple of months, so we'll dive in. Plus, uh, a big question about you that I've been meaning to get to, and we will, and we'll ask everybody here today on the show, plus you. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. It's like a live podcast that happens every afternoon on your radio. The Jim Colbert Show, weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. Watch out for slowdowns due to an accident on I-4 eastbound between Parr Street and Lee Road. The accident is off to the shoulder. Authorities are working on an accident on LB McLeod Road eastbound at Rio Grande Avenue and expect delays due to an accident on Ivy Mist Lane at Orange Blossom Trail. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Power on this spring and summer with Batteries Plus. In stores and online, too, you'll find batteries for your car, RV, boat, motorcycle, ATV, golf cart, and more. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of over 700 locations today. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, and working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills. A community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. In the 90s, New York detective Luis Garcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcelli took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to The Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. Being a great dad doesn't require some fat wallet. I realized a simple stopwatch could make my kids day better. I turned everything into a speed competition. Just time everything. How fast can they make their bed? How quickly can they fold 10 shirts? The weirder, the better. I want time who could hug me the longest. They'll be excited if you're excited. Trust me. Pull out a stopwatch or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today.
With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale this Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. It's the Marketer's Report. Today, Kate Cronin, chief brand officer of Moderna, tells us about the advantages the speed of audio production affords their growing tech company. At Moderna, we have a mindset saying that we pivot fearlessly. And I think with audio, you can pivot fearlessly. You can go where the news is and bring in content that perhaps you didn't have a few weeks earlier. It's less six months in advance or three months in advance when you do a TBC. You're able to create really nimble content, which I think in this day and age, and particularly at Moderna, where we have new information coming out on a regular basis, being able to feed that information to the audio format makes being nimble and pivoting easy. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local. Every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Get back in time. Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Real Radio. 104.1. Occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. SPF guy, Sam Bankman Freed. If you don't know anything about him, that's fine. He's just like a big crypto scammer who got sentenced to 25 years because essentially he took all this money, billions and billions of dollars of people's money into his crypto company, and then he just started playing hard and fast with it, moving it from one place to another. He just did whatever he wanted, and you can't do that. There's lots of regulations when it comes to financial stuff like that. And he was just a, a kid who had no idea what he was doing for a while, and then... And he then thought he, that was his best idea? Yeah. <laughs> then, well, it, technically, it made him billions of dollars for a little while. Yeah. So it did okay for a hot second. But yeah. then... If you're making that then, much money, go to a financial advisor. Yes. <laughs> one should bring in, like, a CFO or, like, somebody who could, who could help you stay on the straight and narrow. He did not do that. But the judge in SBF's case said and made, made it a point to say, like, hey, I acknowledge that the defendant is autistic or as they say on the internet these days, acoustic. And they said, SBF, I know, is autistic, but still, I think, knew what was going on and blah, 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 blah. And that's not the first time we've had that in a case this year. There's been a couple of cases like this where, I don't know if it's brought up as a defense, like maybe SBF's attorneys were like, 
Yeah, but he didn't know what he was doing because he's, you know, a high-functioning autist and he's not able to be aware of the complications of finance. Do you say autist? Uh, I mean, I did. Uh, so, okay. it, so there you go. It sounded but, very smooth. I was like, I did not know that that had a different form. Uh, well, uh, the autistic defense, I think, is kind of a newer thing. Uh, autist is correct. Yeah. Uh, a person yeah, that, affected with autism. That's the noun. And, and I don't even know that he's, like, been diagnosed with this. I'm just saying this from this case because the judge said specifically in the r verdict rendering, hey, we know that he's autistic, but we still are going to hit him with this 25-year sentence. And it reminds me once more that we've opened the window for autism so much now that, like, SBF, would I say that he functions socially like a particularly normal person in air quotes? No, you would you'd see some things that are like abnormal social interactions probably, and that's what they were they were talking about. But we get it in the jury's head sometimes, like autistic means one thing, and I just I don't know if people are lined up on that just yet. This guy was like as high functioning as you possibly can be. Right. And the guy was doing like um, Elon Musk style. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Like doing uh, massive interviews seen by millions and millions and millions of people and not encumbered by his autism um, from doing social things like that. But do you think but, that and they were using that in the sense of like he was not aware of how wrong he was doing? Like, yes. It, yeah. Okay. I, I think that they do that in some of these cases afterwards where they say. We're going to use as a defense the fact that you are on the autism spectrum. And I look at it, I go, there's some people who are autistic, as you might define it, who I'd go, 1,000%. That person cannot understand what they're doing and shouldn't be held responsible for it if it's some sort of, like, financial crime. But this guy, I can't believe that you're such a whiz that you know crypto finance on one hand and you know how to take a company from zero to billions of dollars like FTX uh, and, and then on the other hand, that you're so dopey about your finances that you don't understand you have to pay taxes and do things the right way. Like those things don't make any sense to me, nor did they to the judge, which is, I, I think, why they ended up doing that uh, and saying, despite this, 25 years is what you get. OK, everybody, here we go. And it's time to go around the horn. No judgment zone just for the record. All okay. right. All right. No mm -hmm. judgment here. Here comes uh -huh. the judgment. The judgment. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. Percent. There's no judgment. I know Sabrina sometimes gets sensitive around this question. Oh, and right. there you go with a judgy <laughs> phrase. I, I'm not judging you. I'm just, <laughs> I wanted say to say. Crap like that. I wanted to say ahead of time that this is, it doesn't, there's no right answer, no wrong answer. Okay. There's a story out that I want to talk about. It happens to have some things to do with ordering delivery food. Okay. Gotcha. So I just wanted to lay down the groundwork here. Now, at your house or in your life in general, it doesn't have to be at your house, but just in your life, out of seven days a week, how many days would you say you either have food in your refrigerator that you make yourself or you like you cook a meal for yourself for dinner or lunch or whatever? Like how many times do you actually piece your own meal together per week? Oh, seven for sure. All right, Fritz, I seven. I don't so, cook, so, and I'm not sensitive about that. Not everyone okay. has to cook. Right, I no, probably like four to five times. Four to week. five times a week, you're making something for yourself. No, 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 no. Ordering. Uh, ordering week. Okay. Well, where are you getting the other things from? Leftovers. Okay, from the from the or, orders that you did. Okay, once in a while I'll cook stuff, but it's like it's not like I'm sitting there souff souffle and simmering and yeah, you know. that's a good no, idea. but that still counts. I, yeah. I'm, that's why I'm saying this is more complicated. So if you went to the store and got like something that was even microwavable. OK, and you microwave that and made it for yourself or you had like stuff to make a sandwich and you made the sandwich for yourself. That still counts as making something for yourself versus utilizing DoorDash and Uber Eats to bring oh, the delivery. Okay. Does that change the number? So as they're saying per week, how many times do you actually make something for yourself? It doesn't have to be from scratch. Um, And we're talking breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah, I would say probably four. Three to four times a week. Three to four times. Fritz, you're saying Me seven? Meaning days, right? Day. Well, just how many times per, per week? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so you, you, me. I mean, you eat I do, home a lot then. Yeah, I do a lot just because I like buying, you know, way too many groceries. Yeah. And then and just piecing it all together. Going through them, yeah. 
Sea Lion, where are you at on that scale? Mm, let's see. Per week, probably like eight meals at least. That you're making at your house. Yeah. And, and not ordering out. Okay. And this, I would guess, for most people, varies on, on a pretty big um, swing from week to week sometimes. Like, no, if I'm like, having a bad week, uh-huh. <laughs> like, yeah. if I'm having a, hey, we took Monday off, hey, uh, went back to drinking a couple more days this week kind of week, mm-hmm. I, I might be waking up and having the McDonald's. I might be waking up and getting a delivery here, there, yeah, or whatever. Uh, I might be do- dipping into that more. The reason why I asked this wait, wait, is because wait. what about you? What's your answer? How often are you making meals, uh, um, Sean? Oh, I'm How making often meals. Is Courtney making meals. I'm making meals every day if we're including the the outline that I put with like making a sandwich or mm-hmm. doing that cuz I make all my own stuff for lunch and all that. Courtney makes all all the meals. But we order something from like DoorDash or Uber Eats probably one day a week, I would say. We order something from some of the delivery sources. Yeah, I, now, I probably order twice a week. Maybe okay, so three you're, times. In, you're in the once or twice category. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when we order these things, we look and we see that we're paying a premium, right? I talked about the other day, Courtney and I ordered uh, Chick-fil-A. And I got like the chicken sandwich meal and a drink. And then we, I think she ended up getting like a, a salad on the side and some like mac and cheese so we could just like uh, take a bite of it and try it. And it was $40, right? So th- th- when I see it's stories insane. like this one, this story from Vox today says, from DoorDash to Uber Eats, why is food delivery so expensive? And it becomes more and more expensive based on multiple factors. One, in California, you're going to see this more. When they drop delivery drivers at all these companies because it's $20 an hour minimum wage, and they go through DoorDash only, DoorDash will see that as an opportunity to charge even more money. Mm -hmm. And not just to charge more money in fees for DoorDash, but the little trickaroonie that they do where they show you prices on the menu, but it's more expensive than the price on the menu if you visit the location. Does that Mm -hmm. make sense? I thought Mm -hmm. that there was like a class action lawsuit. Based around there, that. Yeah. There was something for Chick-fil-A in particular. Or I know you that. weren't supposed to have different, like within their app, they had different prices, higher prices than in the store. And there was yeah. a lawsuit. So they're still doing it? Chick-fil-A had one. I don't know if DoorDash had one. They very I thought well it was just assumed. During, but, yeah, during the pandemic, uh, I, I tried to get some Tibbies and each each pr- each price online was easily twenty dollars more. It was like forty dollars wow. for gumbo, and I thought they were trying to dissuade people from getting DoorDash. Uh-huh. But I was like, "What the hell?" Like no other restaurant was doing it. So right, I'm just yeah, saying that. Tibby. So <laughs> you you end up in a lot of <laughs> occasions with much more expensive prices for that delivery for the DoorDash cost, and then you got the the additional charges that they lump on beyond that. It's getting more and more expensive. So there has to be some sort of breaking point, some cutoff point. And I want to throw it to everybody. Have you already hit that cutoff point? Are you going back to making more things yourself and getting less deliveries? Or are you the same? Or are you even going further into the direction of ordering more? Because things are getting really expensive. We'll get a little further into that. We'll hear from you with your dispatches. We'll see what everybody thinks. And we'll get to jury duty. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. Reigning Wooden Award winner Zach Eady of Purdue and Tennessee's Dalton Connect headline the finalists for this year's award. Florida signee Isaiah Brown will compete in the 2024 Slam Dunk Nationals. The event showcases the talents of the country's premier high school seniors. And the Magic, they'll go for a third straight win tonight. They're in New Orleans. Orlando currently holds the Eastern Conference's four seed. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void or prohibited? See DraftKings.com for details. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. 
The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Garcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to the Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Did you know it's Stress Awareness Month? There's a lot of things to stress about. One of the things that people stress about, though, is how their health is. You really don't know unless you have some sort of symptom. Guess what? Life Imaging FLA can help you with that. Early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer is a game changer when it comes to terms and treatment. And I was able to go to Life Imaging FLA, had my heart scanned, and guess what? I have nothing to stress about. My heart is really good. But other people have gone and found out they had blockage. Get over to Life Imaging FLA now and get this free heart scan pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 say the words free heart scan and you'll be connected in seconds there's a few minimum requirements but this is a value of 699 dollars and it is worth it life imaging fla when you talk to them about the free heart scan also inquire about cancer screening that's super important as well life imaging fla you'll get the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iheart media life imaging fla pick up your cell phone dial pound 250 say the words free heart scan people think floor Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When we made our McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, you were praise hands emoji. Then we ran out, and you were streaming tears emoji. Now they're back, so you can be grinning face with sweat emoji. Order ahead on the McDonald's app. 
spicy Chicken McNuggets are back for a hot minute at McDonald's. Now get 20% off any purchase of $5 or more when you order in the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Offer valid through April 21st, 2024 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Must opt into rewards. Excludes tax. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more, more offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Got an iPhone? So we Just tell Siri to play Real Radio 104.1. Real. 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 Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. And even some basketball action, believe it or not. Yes, sports. All coming up in just a moment. Quick notes uh, for those of you who are over on the websites on the daily or sending you dispatches and all of that good stuff. There is now another update. It's like the summer update on the way that is going to finalize the dispatches section of the website and improve things pretty dramatically. It's going to fix the issue with recording via the website and some Android devices, even some iPhones and skips and stuff. All that is in the works right now. And that'll be one of the last major updates to the website. Then just tiny features and fixes here and there after that. So it'll be almost finished. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be at the finish line and then it's just tweaking and little tiny things moving mm. forward. But the, the major changes and then the will new be iPhone just going to come out and wreck your world. Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I'm out the app store, so I don't have to worry about that. And it's just HTML six is going to come out and wreck <laughs> your world. <laughs> Please. No, I'm dying over here. Uh, what, going back to the DoorDash and Uber Eats stuff. Um, if you guys you know, with the amount you pay on average to DoorDash, if that went up, let's say 50%, oh, would, would you consider stopping with the ordering of food? Or, like, there's got to be a number where you're just like, this is ridiculous. I'll, I'll just drive to the place, right? Like, most right. of these places aren't that far anyways. There's got to be a breaking point here, and it's going up so far for all of these fees and stuff. If it went up 50% more, like, Sabrina, do you think you would cut back or think about cutting back how many times you use this? I yeah, absolutely would think about it. And as we talk about it now, I would, I've would. i always thought, like, hey, I've got to start a different system here. Mm -hmm. But then I get home, and I'm, like, really tired and really hungry and wanted to yeah. stay on the couch. And the convenience of it will yep. take over me. Yeah, yeah, but I think if it got, there's a breaking point for everybody. Like, there's a breaking point for even Uber. If you were going to get an Uber ride and the prices went up 200%, you go, well, forget that. I'm not going to get an Uber ride. And the amount of people who wanted to use Uber would go down drastically. There's only so much that people are going to take. And I think people, you think about when you were but younger, like we, we talked about pizzas the other day, like getting pizzas delivered, and you would get a pizza delivered for like 10 bucks. No, We problem. got a pizza delivered the other day, and it was like, um... When did that happen? How much was it? I think it was like 40 bucks. Jeez, That's man. for one, one pizza? pizza? For one pizza and some little jalapeno rolls. Too wow. much. It's way too and much. you all need to also scour for the coupon codes and the promo codes. Yep. Take advantage of that. Yeah, there's a lot of good opportunities like that out there. You, you, say, you, you, you say like if the Uber price went up drastically, it's not going to one day just be drastically uh, increased. It's going to no, happen over so time. And it already has. Like, if mm. you think about what, like, and they, the, Uber has gotten smarter as they've expanded and as they've they've um, learned from uh, previous mistakes. It used to be like you knew what the minimum ride was in your area. Mm -hmm. right? There was a figure. And when Uber first came to Central Florida, it was less than a cab to get where I wanted to go. 
Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is only a couple bucks. This is dirt cheap. Why in not? this person's car and go around the corner down to uh, down to the, you know the place where we all where we all went. Uh-huh. And uh, now it's like, there's a, first where you tell us where you're going. We're gonna give you a figure. That's the right now figure. Might be different later. We're not gonna call it smirch mashing anymore. Yeah, but like even though it is, even though it absolutely still yeah. is. Uh, all right, here we go. We'll take some dispatches on that, of course, from the newsjunkie.com. But right now, to cupcakes, Carlin, and somehow Irish basketball. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass. You're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866 call Mo. 866 call Mo. Or go to justcallmo.com. After an accident, get on the phone or go online and get the person who's going to start fighting for you immediately. All these other insurance companies out there that go after you are happy to hear you got somebody else besides Mo because they go, oh, good. They'll settle early. They'll follow the algorithm. They'll listen to the software. Mo is not going to do that. He's going to fight for you. 866-CALL-MO or go to justcallmo.com. To the cupcakes first. Get ready. Brace yourself, friends. This is a lot. When police searched the home of a Colorado supermarket worker suspected in a series of 20 indecent exposure incidents. 20? 20 of them. They discovered shocking videos showing the man, a registered sex offender, contaminating assorted food products with a body fluid, including a special order of cupcakes later consumed by children attending a birthday party. Records show. Stephen Masalta, 32 years old, is the Safeway sicko. That's how they're referring to him right now. And why didn't we follow up with him after the first... I don't know, five incidents. My God, 20 incident, uh, indecent exposure incidents. He's a registered sex offender, and now he was doing this. They said he was... Was, uh, was he a arrested. registered sex offender before the 20 uh, yes. incidents? Yes, yeah, yeah, I believe so. He's locked up in lieu of a quarter-million-dollar cash bomb. The case against Masalta, or the Safeway sicko, stemmed from a police investigation into a five-month-long string of lewd episodes outside different coffee shops. A male suspect wearing a face mask or a gaiter, that's just covering his face, would appear in the pre-dawn hours outside a shop and begin masturbating in view of workers inside. What? He would record as he was doing this, they said, and this happened over and over and over again. A detective said he left in a 2015 to 2017 Hyundai Sonata. That's a vehicle he was in. Uh, Masalta, cops discovered, was a sexual offender for known for installing hidden cameras in the women's bathroom. Of a church in and Sacramento. They hired him. Yep, I or guess so. In jail. Uh, he, this guy should be in jail for a long time, and he is right now. Thankfully, maybe he's like a really good handyman, though. Like, yeah, he yeah. puts some cameras in there. <laughs> yeah, the best. Uh, but you should see the other the other work he does. Oh, the Safeway sicko putting all kinds and of he stuff. He always brings us cupcakes. Food. Gross, gross, gross. Uh, the George Carlin estate has reached a settlement after that AI podcast. You might remember. Where Will Sasso and Chad Coltgen, the podcast makers, said, "Oh, we made a Carlin AI, and it was the worst AI it was I very think, bad. collectively we had ever heard." Miss Carlin's estate filed the suit in January, and now there are no there's no response from the two. But it looks like there was a verdict here in the favor of the Carlin family. Quite obviously, uh, nobody from Sasso or anybody else is. Uh, able to be reached at the moment. And finally, a basketball team has been ordered to replay a bit of a playoff match after some investigation. Ordered by two, whom? Ordered by their the league. Sports not, by, police. not by an actual judge, but a court, uh, a sports judge, I guess. Oh, we're, oh we're sports court is... <laughs> I wanted to work this one in C-Lane because I thought it was cool, okay? I'm sure Mo would be fine with it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> You have a whole rest of the show to do that. Two basketball teams in Ireland face the unusual frost. (laughs) Guys, it's a good story. Okay. Okay. Off we go to basketball court. Two basketball teams. Fritz, I'm just talking to you, buddy. Just me and you. All right, let's talk basketball. I'm going to talk to my basketball lawyer about how to move (laughs) forward with these basketball proceedings. 
They're two basketball the teams time. in Ireland faced the unusual prospect of having to go through their pre-match rituals and warm-ups in order to play just 0. .3 seconds of a what? playoff match. That sucks. That ended in controversial circumstances last month. They have to replay 0. .3 seconds of a, a battle between the two of them. So the whole game, the audience, the whole setup, all of it for not even that. 0. .3 seconds is all they got left on the clock. Was it like a blowout game? Because that would really yeah. be embarrassing. Did they say what the like no. uh, specifics were? It ended 80 to 78. Now you want to know the details, huh? Uh -huh. Now. They said at the very end of it, they had what they thought was a foul during the buzzer. And now they're going to replay 0.3 seconds. When we come back, the Grim Reaper is here. What, pray tell, <laughs> is the Grim Reaper up to? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stick around. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Two left lanes are blocked due to an accident on Lee Road eastbound before I-4. There's slowdowns on I-4 eastbound between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. And construction is causing a bit of delays on Vine Street between Orange Blossom Trail and Michigan Avenue. The roadways are reduced to two lanes. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Feel plenty good by incorporating Silk into your morning routine. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. They're U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be able to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar this Thursday night at 7 p.m. at the Orlando Wyndham Garden. 1-800-875-PASS. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Do you have a life insurance policy of $100,000 or more that you don't need? Well, don't lapse or surrender your policy. You might be sitting on a gold mine. That's right. You may be able to sell all or part of your life insurance policy to Coventry for cash or a combination of cash and coverage with no future premiums, even a term policy. Call Coventry Direct at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. For over 25 years, we've helped thousands of people sell their policies. And we can probably help you, too. Call us today at 800-411-8300 or visit CoventryDirect.com to find out if you're sitting on a gold mine. That's 800-411-8300. 
Call now. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. If you've been injured, in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. He won't hesitate to call you out when you're being a little asky. This is the new. I could see Sabrina doing this. I definitely could. I could see it being added to the list. And it, honestly, if in some insane way, and not, knock on wood, this never happens. Some, some insane way, uh, Sabrina ends up dying before Sealand and I. We have an impossible task of pulling off a funeral that just has a list of, list of to-dos that continues to grow here well, over that's time. That's why I'm telling you guys ahead of time. Well, I don't know if you're going to add this to your list. Playing the funeral do, now. You have a Google Doc yeah. set up or something? Of course I, I, I do. It's honestly, actually also going to be in my will. Yeah, um, good. We're, we're going to need that because we've been adding to this for a decade now. Drop the ball. I, I probably because there's so many requests here. We got to get this perfect. Now you might want to do this. Here's what somebody else is up to. They said a woman uh, in uh, the UK. She had the Grim Reaper at her funeral, and that. people people at the funeral did not understand what was going on <laughs> because it was like her secret dying last wish. <laughs> And they didn't want anybody to know. This is all her friends. This is the actual Grim Reaper who was at the funeral. This is the okay. guy. One, that's oh, terrifying. That's very Since scary. When does a Grim Reaper have an exposed brain? I don't know. That's new to me. It's up on See It Now, though. If you want to go over to the newsjunkie.com, get that visual, and you'll see what we're talking about here. The Grim Reaper was at her funeral. Let's see what that's happened bizarre. here. It says a woman made her daughter and friend promise the Grim Reaper would attend her funeral. Sharon Tafts from Essex. She died from breast cancer, and her funeral was held on March 16th. Her daughter, Louise Miller, 49, said her mother planned every part of the memorial. And when a friend joked that he would come dressed as the Reaper and say, you're next to people who are <laughs> at the funeral. Wow. <laughs> she I like said, her sense of humor. Come on. She said, please do it. And they said it was fulfilling her last wish. Man, the she friend said promise. that as a joke, and then now she's like, no, I want you to do that now. And he's like... <laughs> Son of a bitch, I gotta find a Grim Reaper costume and now I have to oh, show up to a funeral? That and like, wait, the friend is the one that dressed up or they had to hire somebody? The I, well, Hold on, let's see. It says, she made us promise that we would do it and he's the kind of friend that would fulfill that promise uh, no matter what. Because of the planned joke, the family did pre-warn some people and a few decided not to attend on account of the Grim Reaper being there. Okay, come on, that's a joke. If you research the Grim Reaper, he transports the soul to where it's going. So he's not actually a bad person, they said. 
It was a perfect service, and it was exactly what's needed. Here's another photo of the Grim Reaper. He's just chilling at the back of this place. That's a, that's that's a, a sick si- Reaper. That's a psychopomp. I learned yeah. about that in Greek mythology, Sean. Uh, what is it? What does it mean? A, a psychopomp. What right. It's like someone who ferries the uh, souls to the afterlife. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's others beyond just the Grim Reaper oh, that, yeah. that you'd be aware of. Just not you know, this, this guy's just the most famous one, I mm-hmm. guess, right? Oh, yeah. At least and now, common day. Um, she said everybody wore white and Dominic the donkey, an Italian <laughs> yes. Christmas song, was played for her Italian friend. A jiggity jig, he honk, he honk, is Dominic the donkey. It sounds like a banger funeral. <laughs> yeah, this is quite the funeral. She didn't want people crying dressed in black and being sad, and she got what she wanted. I think about her funeral now, and it makes me smile. It's a good memory, not a bad memory, they said. Uh, this woman had Dominic the Donkey plan and, of course, the Grim Reaper, which you can see <laughs> over on See It Now. What a, what a funeral this was. Holy cow. I'm, now I am inspired, though, i got to tell you. Would you have this at yours? Not Grim Reaper, but I'm no? thinking about who can be hired and what will they dress up as. Yeah, or, there's a lot of possibilities. Can you get a hold of the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics? You know, Courtney is really creeped out by the Chuck E. Cheese animal. Ooh, she does not perfect. like. Is she that talking guy. about the old ones? Or has she seen the updated ones? The old ones, yeah. The old where, where ones are definitely terrifying. Yeah, he's more rat. Does it have anything to do with Five Nights at Freddy's? Ooh. No, I don't think so because we saw that more recently. I think she just doesn't like that rat. She's not a big fan. <laughs> uh, I have something for you. We talked about Costco earlier, uh, and, and this was something that happened at, at BJ's. Now, I can only play so much of the audio for you. I'll put this on See It Now as well. But they said that this was like the stock guy for this BJ's location. Mm-hmm. Oh, tell me he did something with the cupcakes too. No, he didn't. He did not do anything gross with number three in the cupcakes. But he got mad because they fired him at the end of his shift. And like they knew they were going to fire him. That's so screwy. Who would do that? They fired him at the end of his shift. They knew they were going to do this. And he was working stocking the shelves all day. And so here's what he did. I gotta I gotta cut the audio off just at the right time here. Hope you do. Yo, bro, it's not gonna solve an issue, bro. He says it's not gonna solve an issue, just in case you think he cares. He he didn't say the S word. All right. So I'm gonna gonna cut the audio off there. The guy is just going that that felt so good. Oh my god, the rage room vibes. He's just throwing everything. Aisle to aisle he goes, and he's taking all this stuff that he's stocked and oh, smashing yeah. it back down on the ground. And what after another? Now I mean, he gets a tough still, one. Yeah, but someone still has to clean Yes, that, you you're know? right, It's Fritz. not like they're just like, oh, sorry, uh, belligerent employee that oh, we fired. And, and hold on. Time and a half. Here's the tough one, right? Here's the tough one. He goes over to, I don't know if it's uh, Rouse or Rails or, or what it is. But he goes over to the, like, pasta sauce aisle here in a second, and that really does a number on things. Here he goes. Oh, boy. Tossing oh, out the pasta. Oh, yeah. Clean up on that aisle. Yep. He's breaking them and sliding Bloody. them. That's a oh. lot right there. He's going. Is he arrested? I, mean, I don't I know if he got arrested or not. He could be. At he was, some point, there's a certain amount of hey, money that he has destroyed, right? How brutal is this? Monetary value. What an animal this guy is. You see what he comes up to next? It's a flower display. He's, he's even, throwing them. even the flowers didn't escape his wrath, this guy. The BJ's employee was not having it. So, I'll put it up for you on See It Now. So he worked all day and then got fired. Yep. Is there a better way that they should have done this? Because, I mean, isn't that what you do when you get fired? You work and uh, then you get fired. Yeah, don't they have to be on the clock or something? Uh, he's saying, if you were going to fire me anyways, how dare you make me work an entire shift and put all this crap up? That's, That's what a job is. I know, but if you weren't, if you knew you were going to fire him already, why not just fire him when he comes in? Why have him do more work and then fire him when you know he's getting all fired right. anyway? Riddle me this. If I show up to work and get fired before I complete my job for the day, all should right. I get paid for that day? No. Mm, think he's yeah. Get paid now? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Wait, wait. If you, say it again, rephrase that. If I show up to work, yeah, and uh, before I complete my job for the day, like before I start the job for the day, I get fired. Do I get paid for that day? Mm, I don't think so. No, but, but you annoying. did now show I've, up. Now though. I've showed up yeah. to work. Now I've showed up to work for nothing. You're not going to give me a cent, or you pay me for the full day. I've worked a full day. Now I'm fired. 
Okay, I see what you're saying. You're arguing that it's actually better to fire them at the end of the day because then they get paid for all of the time up until the firing, even the drive in. And there's no, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no like gray area as to you know what who owes who what. And then you like know, fire him and then walk him out. Why was he still in there? Yeah, I really uh, want to talk from personal experience. I don't know if I should though. <laughs> <laughs> didn't they escort you out don't they do that whole thing they and we don't, thankfully what? did not do that because they trusted me but i still had to come in on a friday morning uh, also not for nothing what are we gonna break around a radio station uh, are you um, serious you can take them we, off we, air i guess no we could we could say things into the microphone of course but if they have us away from the studios it's not like we could just we go go down the hallway and like take a picture off the wall and smash it on the ground. We don't have a big thing of the Rouse tomato sauce or the you know pasta sauce or whatever to smash. I guess you could steal a mic, but then that would be grand theft. Like these mics yeah. are five fifty. Yeah. Uh, and and oh, just man, Sabrina's point is he is at he... Sean's house. I would destroy <laughs> that studio. <laughs> will, will he be charged? Because I would imagine yes. That's damage of property. And yeah. prob- probably a lot, I would imagine. right? Like if they fire him and, and then say, you got to get, get out of out. here. Yeah. I want to know that, let's say he doesn't get fired and he goes to apply to another job. <laughs> oh, no. Mm-hmm. Why did you uh, leave the uh, last employer? No uh, good. Discrepancies? Yeah. Let me tell you, there's a video background about this. Check. Fresh over on Twitch says, I've been fired on a Friday after work and it's not great. Better to fire at the beginning of the shift. I, I, don't, I don't understand that necessarily, though. I think it really depends on the job. I mean, if you had like a, what if you had like a really rough Friday? Like uh, mm. this guy's stocking shelves. He's been live, living a bunch of heavy, have, lifting a, bunch, lifting of a bunch of heavy stuff. Heavies. <laughs> Some sneak heavy. Sounds like boobs. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, he's, been, he's been lifting a bunch of heavy stuff. And, uh, you know, or like if you were a roofer or any, any sort of uh, job where people complain to us about like, oh, it must be so hard to be on the radio. Yeah, construction mm-hmm. jobs. Um, you know, I, I get where I might be a little more pissed off that I just did that and got fired, but also I just got paid for it, like I said. So is there a perfect way to fire somebody? No. Is there a, is there a way to do it where you're like, damn, all right, fair enough, you fire me, see you later. All right, you didn't make me come in early, you didn't make me do this. They do a thing at iHeart where they try to make me come in to the station for bad news. And I'm moving forward. I have a policy of not doing that. You, oh. You're going to tell me before I go to meet you. All right. All suits know this. Just be on notice here. Before I go to meet you, I want to know why I'm meeting you. I want to know exactly why. And if you hoodwink me, I will never talk to you again. I'm serious. I will make it so awkward. I will never they're talk to you again. shaking in their expensive shoes. They will be shaking. They don't want to make me mad. I guarantee you that. What? I guarantee you they don't want to make me mad. Yeah, just get along here for a second. No, I'm going with Sean, them, dude. With the, with the corporate folks at this company. Oh man, that hurt I never goes away, right. too. I mean, oh, never God. goes away. All right, let's have the Fritz and John show. Okay? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Hell yeah, Fritz. Hey, I, let's go. You know, I got Thursday that are night free. If you want, if you want to do a podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on. Casual shadows to electric boogaloo. <laughs> let's do this thing. Uh, I, this is not Sabrina talking. This is not C Lane talking. And all the suits should know that. Put it down in the same file, all right? Same file. When I speak, it is my opinion that you pay me for, which should really kick you in the ass, is my opinion that it's coming out of my mouth. So I deal with the repercussions of it. But I will never, ever drive back to the station and then get surprised with some miserable information. So I'm irritated driving to, irritated during, and irritated on the way back. Ain't going to happen. Not a thing. Doesn't exist. Just give me the bad news. Give me the sad news. Give me whatever it is, and we'll start the fight, right? That's how <laughs> this will go. But just do it that way. Unbelievable. What if they give you the bad news ahead of time like you've requested, but you, you still need to come in for the fight? <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'll say too bad. I'll say execute plan X. And I don't want to execute Plan X, but it's always well, you got one your own button. Order sixty six or something? Bet your ass I do. Well, you know Ready what an order sixty six is? No, but I got it. <laughs> what is it? What is the it's my where plan? They killed X? all the Jedi's. Oh, thank God you said Jedi's. Yeah, I thought he was going to lean in on that one. <laughs>
Whew. I'm I sorry. Thought, did I use the J a little too slowly yeah, for you? Yeah, you really hit it you, hard. Uh, that might have been a secret uh, German plan instead of what you were getting at. Uh, we want to hear from you, folks. Go ahead and send us a dispatch. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. <laughs> they record on your first dispatch right now. Um, okay, I got that up. Uh, did, did I? Or am I lying to you? Let me make sure I have that up on See It Now because I said I would, and I want to make sure it's there, friends. That's what this is all about. Boom, it's up there. It's ready for you. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com and take a look at the BJ's employee losing his mind. Uh, Zephyrus from earlier, sorry about the, the loss and all that. Careful, Sean. Don't poke the iHeart Beehive too much. We don't want to lose you. Uh, level of concern. Only one O in that word there, Zephyrus. Yeah, that's the most commonly misspelled word that I think I see online. All the lose time. Lose to lose. Loser with two O's is always hilarious. Loser. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you looser always gets me. It's usually in the context of some political thing, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, yeah. yeah. It, so it just makes you seem like a demo. Uh huh. It does. It has a little bit more of a kick to it, Fritz. But that Quick looks break. like losser. Spe- yeah. Especially if they're calling you the loser, the loser. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. If you're the target of said loser insult. When we come back, more on the Taiwan earthquake, more of you with your comments on what we talked about at the show today, an update on the insanity with these World Central Kitchen workers, some more info coming out on that in Gaza, and a bunch more to wrap up on a busy Wednesday. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. There's an earlier accident causing a bit of delays on John Young Parkway southbound between Destination Parkway and the Beach Line. Authorities are still working on that accident on Lee Road eastbound before I-4. And the left turn signal is working incorrectly where Colonial Drive meets Hiawassee Road. Travel with caution through there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by InvisibleFence.com. Going stir-crazy with your pet? Invisible Fence brand works in any weather so you can stay warm while your dog gets their energy out in the yard. Their local pet experts work with you to create a customized solution tailored to fit your pet. Learn more about how pets like yours gain independence at InvisibleFence.com. Chances are very good that you're leaving money on the table, so let that mortgage guy Don help you get the money off the table and back in your hands where it belongs. He's looking out for you. What local business do you know with over 1,000 five-star reviews? That mortgage guy, Don, has it, and that's because he's good at what he does. That mortgage guy, Don, is a friend that has your best interest in mind. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote today. Peace of mind at your fingertips by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. If it plugs and turns on whatever the make, get it all covered because it's a fact. Things in your home are going to break. Appliances and plumbing can cost hundreds to thousands to repair. Air conditioning, even more. Don't let home repairs break the bank. Call GoEverythingBreaks.com today and get a free quote for total home warranty protection. Everything Breaks covers major home systems and appliances starting at a dollar a day, including electronics, from cell phones to flat screens and more. Call in the next 30 minutes and get three months of coverage for half off. Plus, gain instant vehicle repair savings, too. For a free coverage quote now, call 800 Fix It 77. That's 800 Fix It 77. One free call could save you thousands. Get it all covered your way, cause everything breaks. Limitations and exclusions apply. See plan terms and conditions for details. Coverage not available in all states. Actual savings may vary based on the coverage plan and repairs needed. Call 800 Fix It 77. Online at goeverythingbreaks.com. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergies 
allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year-round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. How do I, Dad? Here's something I do. I write a letter to my kids every month. Yep, I write a letter and send it to my own house. I'm pen pals with my own kids. I know it sounds silly, but they love it. I don't write anything crazy. Just tell them I love them, ask them questions, whatever. Normal stuff. But when it shows up in the mailbox, I'm super dad. Write your kids letters or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapeda, CMO Hyundai Motor America, talks about audio storytelling. People scratch their heads and say, why would you put your brand on a channel that doesn't show the sheet metal? But for us, it's about storytelling. That's driving a lot of brand awareness, but we can also drive a lot of intent. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the influencers, audiences, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. As a military dad, I'll admit my first deployment didn't go great for my kids. I wasn't ready. So every time I'm gone, I just focus on doing small things better. I schedule video calls during their dinner so we can still eat together. I read books they're reading so we can talk about them. (laughs) I send them an email every day. It just takes a little effort, but it's worth it, guys. Dads, duty matters in and out of uniform. So choose to be a father first today. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's ALSCO.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Preparing you. 
impending robot uprising. This is the News Junk. Do this before. You a cruise guy? You have been on a cruise before? I have never been on a cruise. No. no. Uh, is that like are you one of the people who are like that's not the way I want to travel? Because uh, I think there's a lot of people like that. I mean, there's a lot of issues with cruises, but uh, I would like to go on a cruise. Yeah. I just, uh, I just don't find myself perusing cruise websites. Yeah, I'm with you. I think I don't know. It's just not the way I want to travel right now in my life. I might when I get old. Because I think a lot of people want to cruise when they get old. They're like, oh, just get on the ship. I don't have to do anything. I like to um, not be bound by schedules quite as much when I'm on a vacation. Yeah. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe cruises, they don't require you to have that schedule. But if you want to do all the things, you know, like, this is the time you got to get off the ship. This is the time you get on the ship. Mm-hmm. And and if you want to go fancy style, oh, my God, is it expensive. Like, you see the price on cruise websites. That's really basic. That's like a basic-ass cabin. If you want the one with, like, the cabin with, like, the piano in it and stuff, or, like, the slide in the room or whatever. Imagine spending your whole cruise learning how to play the piano. That's awesome. $10,000, uh, I think, for a four-day cruise on some of those rooms. That's a lot. Like, $10,000, I could fly to a couple of places and have a decent vacation. Like, I could do a, a couple of weeks, I think, for $10,000 if I did it right. Yeah, for sure. Um, but people find themselves either choosing this life or not choosing it. And then when they get on board, they got even more issues. Because we learned uh, we learned yesterday these Norwegian cruise line passengers, first they missed the boat in Senegal in Africa. Uh, they went on a... At, Gambia, and, uh, right? Is that the same place? Uh, yeah, they, they met up with the ship in Senegal. They They missed the ship in Gambia because they went on an excursion that wasn't an approved excursion to this island off the coast of Africa. And then they got back like late, like too late. The ship was headed out and they said, see you later, you know, Um, even though they could have, I think they still could have let them on. They just refused to do so. And then these folks said they made a journey across Africa to try to get to the next port. They went through seven different countries in 48 hours and they were saying, we're not even sure we're going to jump back on board the Norwegian cruise line. We might not want to do it. Well, they did. After all, they did uh, end up jumping on the cruise ship. Wait to uh, stick they, it to them. They said uh, uh, once they finally caught up, they decided to jump on board and continue on with the cruise from Norwegian Cruise Line. It took them 48 hours to meet the ship in Senegal, and it took them seven countries that they had to made their, make their way through to catch up I with the ship. wonder how much the more ship. they had to spend. Probably a bit, right? I mean, to at least get from point A to point B. I mean, I would expect that if I'm in Africa, in a country that I'm very unfamiliar with, mm-hmm. and I need to get to a different part of Africa as quickly as possible... I am probably going to get my ass taken advantage of. Yeah, mm, just sure. just to meet up with this boat, and they know that I'm on a time crunch. Now, I can't see, and I'm and I'm trying to peruse this article to see where the boat was when they got to it, whether or not they really could have physically gotten back on. But mm-hmm. uh, Norwegian claims. They missed the ship by more than an hour. Oh my god! Yeah, it says when they missed the all of the time. Off. Of 3 p.m. by more than an hour, their passports were left with the local port agent for retrieval when they returned to the port from their private tour not organized by us per the protocol. So they Ooh, said, wait, so they somebody goes into their like stateroom and gets their passports to leave them with I the guess port so. agent? Yeah, that seems just, like a, a very... If you can go do that, then you can't just wait for them. They Why said, not? we're not waiting. If we wait for them, then we got to wait for the next person, the next person. And, and it becomes about just waiting for people who are late. The slippery and they say, slope. Yeah, I guess so. They're no, cruise line. So I, I, I'd be curious how long they've been doing this because not everything used to be as electronic as it is. You're saying that when a cruise ship leaves a port, at some point they cut it off and they figure out every passenger that hasn't gotten back on board and they go to their staterooms go through their stuff, find their passports, and leave them with an agent at the port? I can only tell you this. It says the Campbells claimed the ship was still anchored off the coast of the Central African island 
when they showed up on Friday, but the skipper refused to let them on board. A spokesperson for the Norwegian Cruise Line, however, said the group missed the all-aboard time by more than an hour after taking a private tour of the island. When they missed the all-aboard time by 3 uh, p.m. Of, uh, of 3 p.m. by more than an hour, their passports were left with the local port agent for retrieval when they returned to the port from their private tour not organized by us per the protocol. So that's what they said. Hmm. Um, I guess they give them their their... Their passports, and it it's truly does seem like I better get that official tour. It really seems like a shot across the bow. I wonder if they would have waited. Uh, if, if they the had the official one? I think they would. I think they would. Because your argument would be, like, say it was you, and you went on one excursion in Jamaica, Sabrina, when the cruise line showed up there. Mm-hmm. You'd go, well, guys, I booked this through you. You told me that this was a safe excursion for me to go on, and now the excursion through you was late and I missed your ship. That doesn't make any sense. And they're like, okay, my fine. My passport you know. is right under my vibrator. They'll wait. They'll wait for that. But if it's not affiliated, they're like, we can't guarantee that all these things are going to be back on time. Screwy. And you're not going to miss the, the cruise. That sucks. Uh, Nick emails tips of the news junkie.com and says, left behind by a cruise ship. Hey, Sean, I don't know if this counts, but I was very nearly left behind by a cruise ship about two weeks ago while on vacation in Italy. Surprisingly, the ship actually waited for us, even though we missed the all aboard time by over an hour and the set sail time by 15 minutes. So that's even further. If this sounds like something you'd like to talk about on the show, please let me know, says Nick. So they waited for him. I wonder if in his case, it was you know, like a, one of the uh, official trips from the cruise line. Now, I, uh, I'm also curious as uh, if this is perhaps something that happened the way it did because of the country they were in. Like, what if, for whatever reason, they have the all aboard time and then they have to like button everything up with customs and go, all right, we're, you know, we're ready. Nobody gets on or off after this point. It could have been. I don't know. I don't know how they operate. It's like they don't screw around. They're not going to treat you like a little kid when it comes to these cruises. They got to get to the next place and they got to worry about. Thousands and thousands of people as opposed to just, you know, a couple of people who are late. They what don't if care. if you are a little kid? If you are a little kid, would they leave you? I don't, actually. Man. Ooh. You have to be a certain age to get off the boat, right? Or have to be with a parent, I imagine. Yeah, I would guess there's rules if on that. If you're like, what if it's 16, right? The cutoff point or something. Yeah, but you can book an airplane by yourself when you're like four or five, right? Like you can like get onto an airplane. Yeah. No, so but you have to have a... A guardian with you. You could be an unaccompanied minor. Yeah, you could be an unaccompanied minor, even younger than sixteen, if you wanted to. Why don't they do that with but, little kids and, and cruises? Well, but let's let's take what Sabrina said there. All right, imagine it's uh, what, what was this NCC or NCL? Who was the cruise line? Uh, Norwegian, Norwegian cruise line. All right, so imagine it's Norwegian cruise line, and some of the family got back, but their two kids haven't arrived back yet. One's fourteen and one's fifteen. There's no way that cruise ship is going to leave kids. I don't I think so. so. I don't think the cruise ship. I know, even though they'll probably be like, we have a zero tolerance policy. We're leaving the port. Kiss our asses. No way. Because what if they leave a, a kid behind and something happens to the kid? And they'll be like, you were responsible. I don't think they would if it was a kid. But I, I'd love to hear more. If you work on a cruise ship, if you know more about this, Tips of the news junkie.com. Let us know or send a dispatch over. Uh, speaking oh, man. of the their email, t- their tour operator claimed that he called the captain to let him know, like, hey, we're running late, but we're on, on we're on the way back. They didn't care. You didn't call the captain. You may you may have a number of somebody at NCL, but you're not you don't just yeah. pick I want to up speak the to phone the captain now, please. And the <laughs> captain picks up. Hello, Do Captain you, Jeff. You, you think he was trying to keep them calm when they realized they were late for no, the just, like, just talk to the captain, man. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Everything's cool. Uh, to the email, this is from Philip. Hey, Sean, Space Coast, Coast native here. A couple of weeks ago, I knew I was going to head out for a day of drinking, and I wanted to take an Uber. I decided I was going to schedule a ride the night before, and it showed a cost of around $42 to get from my house to the place I was going, which was about seven miles away. I said to myself, I'll just wait until this time when I'm ready to leave and check the price. It was only about $18 to get the ride the day of and the time of when I wanted to go. Instead of more than double, it would have been if I scheduled it ahead of time. Be cautious of the scheduling a ride feature, says Philip. Damn, that's a lot extra right there. Uh, Thanks for the heads up on that. 
Uh, I said an update on the earthquake front, so let's get to that over in Taiwan. There's some footage of during a TV broadcast in Taiwan when the earthquake hit. Let's see how that went down. Oh, those are the lights. That was very overstimulating. <laughs> That's crazy. i got to be honest God. with you. That was a lot right there. That just made me sweat a little bit. It came those... quick with that shot of the lights, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, sh- a shot of the lights hanging overhead. That's so obnoxious. <laughs> That's the worst noise. Like, I just, uh, I just, oh. uh, I'm not okay after that. No. I think the lady also kind of gave me stress. They could, they, I was going to say, would it be as obnoxious, as obnoxious if somebody was speaking frantically in English? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's more uh, odd with you not being able to know what the person's saying. Yeah. yeah. I think. There's not a lot of panic in her voice. Is there no, no way to, like, cut room mics in that feed or... They probably could. I think they wanted to ramp it up. All right, I can't take it anymore. There we go. We we know what the experience was like. That'll do it for now. Uh, over the update <laughs> on, uh, in Gaza. Now, if you don't know what happened, this was very bad for Israel. Even people who are giving all the benefit of all the doubt to Israel have not responded, to say the very least, well to this airstrike that killed uh, these world central kitchen workers yeah, in Gaza. I was, I was trying to figure out how I was going to word that for Fritz on the street, and I was like, mm. I, I don't know how. It's a tough one, yeah. man. It's, it was really a major, major, major mm-hmm. mistake. And I hate to use the, mis- the word mistake because it makes it sound light. Uh, and I also know how this works. I'll, I'll take you back again to something I said yesterday. The Israeli military operates with almost absolute precision. They do not willy-nilly do things. So if something is done by the Israeli military, there is an entire chain of command that has approved it, including lawyers who have said, hit the button. The bombs that they were dropping on these World Central Kitchen convoy vehicles, they cost $350,000 a piece. This wasn't just something where they were like, you know, fire it off. So why was this given the go ahead? That's the big giant question here. Now, the Israelis said that they had somebody that was with the convoy of World Central Kitchen workers that they believe may have been a Hamas fighter. But Ooh. even those folks said that the, the the Hamas fighter appeared to have stayed behind. So why bomb the convoy that you can't see in the middle of the night that had World Central Kitchen workers in it, not once, not twice, but three times? A lady. Because when they <sighs> bombed them the first time, they fled that vehicle, went to the next one, bombed that one, next vehicle, bombed that one. So... Horrific, horrific outcome. And it's led to people who are supporters of Israel and who are saying they should be able to route out Hamas, saying this is unacceptable. And IDF made a, a, a statement on this. Is this in English? Last night, yeah. seven employees of the World Central Kitchen. Were this is the Israeli Defense Forces. This is their side. WCK is an organization whose people work across the globe, including in Israel to do good in difficult conditions. The IDF works together closely with the World Central Kitchen so... and greatly appreciates the important work that they do. But... The IDF completed a preliminary debrief. I want to be very clear. The strike was not carried out with the intention of harming WCK um... Aid workers. Yeah, but, but it did. Uh, the outcome is the same regardless. Did you see where the bomb landed? Right on the roof. <laughs> now they're going to say... Right was, by the logo. It was dark. You couldn't see anything in the middle of the night. But they still knew the routes that these they folks were going to be traveling They on. have night vision. I mean, that that's part of targeting and dropping bombs. It's not- yeah, but when you're dropping a bomb, let's say it's from a drone, because I, I bet this was from a drone. I do not know. But oh, I you said it was, it was from, from a drone. drone. Yeah. I might, I might have said in a story I read that it was from a drone. When you're doing that and they're looking night vision, I don't know that they'd be able to see as much detail as like a logo on a roof. I don't know. Maybe they could, but I don't, I don't, I, my guess would be that they wouldn't be able to see that much granularity in the middle of the night. But they knew the exact route that this World Central Kitchen convoy was traveling on. They there was told a them. Debrief. Yeah, they told, no, they straight up told them they have reported their location and reported their, their trip. 
that's where this becomes a problem. They don't usually say sorry over at the IDF, mm-hmm. but they they did hear that. I don't know if that's going to help them. It still puts a lot of pressure on them uh, to to clean things up and get things done it's over there. It's kind of like when BP apologized. Right. Yeah, you go, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to stop things here. I think that there's a lot of pressure on, on Israel and on Biden now uh, for this World Central Kitchen thing to not be something that happens again. Quick break. When we come back, final dispatches, stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. weekend on Real Radio 104.1 from the Cool Today Weather Center. Cooltoday.com. Good morning. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. We've got a quiet morning, but a windy afternoon gusting over 40 miles an hour, highs in the mid-80s, and then a possibility of severe thunderstorms in Orlando between roughly 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. It could be a wet evening commute for many of us and picking up the kids. There could even be some delayed releases with lightning. Heads up, wind gusts over 60 miles per hour possible in any storms. Today is a Fox 35 Storm Alert Day. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip & Savor, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar & Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. Harry's poolside.com slash Harry's sip and savor. My best dad tip. Okay. One time our power went out and we couldn't watch TV or play video games or whatever, but we still have the best time pulling out flashlights and building a fort in their room, telling stories. So last week I just turned off the main breaker and yelled power's out. (laughs) I mean, why wait for a storm? Just make the fun part happen yourself. I mean, you can do it tonight. Dads try this idea or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South is having a one-day factory sale. This Saturday only in our factory showroom. 40% off energy-efficient windows and patio doors. One day only this Saturday from 9 till 4. Please visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. In the 90s, New York detective Louis Scarcella locked up the worst criminals. Putting bad guys away. There's no feeling like it. Then jailhouse lawyers took aim, led by Derek Hamilton. Scarcella took me to the precinct and lied. 20 men eventually walked free. Now, in the Burden podcast, after a decade of silence, Louis Scarcella finally tells his story. And so does Derek Hamilton. Listen to the Burden on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 7337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. It's the time of year when everyone is making plans to hit the road. 
If you're gearing up to get outside, Amazon Automotive is here to help. Whether you're hitting the beach, the trail, or somewhere in between, you'll find great deals on parts and accessories for your car, truck, motorcycle, or RV. Simply visit us online to customize your vehicle with a wide selection of floor mats, bike racks, camping equipment, power sports, accessories, and more. Get going today at Amazon.com slash automotive. That's Amazon.com slash automotive. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassysmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. knows how to get there. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. Stories that didn't make the cut. And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. And it's always fun hanging out with our friend Fritz. Appreciate hey, you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the best of the best, Aww. isn't he? Thank you, guys. Make sure you're following him over on Instagram. No underscore regrets underscore coyote. I always say the Instagram. Is there any other place where people should be following you, Fritz? That's where I'm on most of the time. Uh, okay. When I see people add me on Facebook, I usually go, who is this guy? Like, it's like <laughs> 2 in the morning. I'm, like, taking a dump. I'm like, what? I don't, I don't know. This What's person. happening? Okay. All By right, the way, thank enough. you. Thank you for letting dumping. me um, uh, create the magnets each time because that's really fun. And um, that shows a lot of trust in you, Sean. Yeah. So thank you. Well, well, let's see I, how this new one turns out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do trust you. They've come out great so far, and people love those Fritz on the Street magnets. They're hard to get. They're limited and they're, they're different. I love them. So I think you do a great job. And this one is no different. It's Thank exciting. Uh, do we have time for this clip? I don't know. We have time for this clip. Uh, we'll have to. Play it. I'll save it. I'll, I'll save it for tomorrow because we're really tight on it. Let's do one last dispatch. Uh, Alex V has a dispatch about being fired. Sammy scam rage quit. And then Hey There says cruise excursions. Which one do we pick? Alex, Sammy scam or Hey There? Anybody got a uh, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy scam says Sammy. Rage quit. Here we go. Okay, I had a rage quit moment when I was a teenager. It was my very first job. Uh -huh. I worked there for about almost a year. Yeah. The manager came in, worked the whole shift at a chicken place. Chicken place. And it was about 1 o'clock in the morning. We were just getting done cleaning everything up. And the guy came in and fired me. And I took all the flower buckets and threw it all over the kitchen, all over the freaking place, and just left it destroyed and walked out. <laughs> all right. Guy. There you go. You know, I can't hate it. It's, yeah, it's, and, you know, it, uh, it also sounds like he has find he's found employment somewhere else. So. Yeah. yeah, he's good now. Yeah, he's, he's good he's, he's inside of an air conditioner. Yeah, <laughs> thank God, right? Yeah. All right. Um, uh, stories that didn't make the cut, they all made the cut today. Let's Yay. get. I would assume so after here. that Irish basketball story. Wow. <laughs> really. Say it to my face. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get Fritz out of here so I can do it. I would assume so after that dumb Irish basketball story. Yeah. Switch it back to me, huh? Switch it back to my camera. 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> double good. It was good. It was really uh, good. Here we go. Uh, do we do the Today I Learned song yet? No. Jesus Christ! <laughs> forgot. I don't know what happened. Celine took a shot at me again over this damn Irish basketball story. It was a good story. The Irish basketball story. Oh my story. god, you were just fluffing Sean today. It's a three <laughs> It's a three second rematch. What a waste of time. Do you not think that's a good story? I think it was point three. <laughs> yeah, point three. It was. Yeah. So we all agree it was great then. I right, didn't cool. know the Irish today. people played basketball. That's how it will go down I in history. Didn't. Here we go. Today I learned. The following information may make you feel smarter but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today I Learned for a Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Today I Learned this guy. Michael uh, Buble. That's right, Michael Buble. He requires, quote, one local team hockey puck, unquote, in his rider. He wants that in his dressing room as part so of... So Canadian of him. Yeah. His contract to concert promoters in every single city, and he's tried to collect one from every place he could that has a local hockey team. Today, I learned the temperature on the moon during the Apollo 11 landing at the landing site was 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty toasty. Damn. So you got to have all that gear on to survive out there. To make it hotter? Yeah. Today I learned this song, <laughs> this band, this group. Uh, Supreme. Oh, oh no, Temptations. Four the Seasons. Four Tops. Four Tops. Is right. <laughs> they all Today sound learned, the same. I knew it was something that had four. Uh, to that point, Fritz, it's called It's the Same Old Song by the Four Tops. It's literally the same old song. I can't help myself. Thank you. But they put a different beat behind it, and they switched the music and reversed it, and that's where they came up with the lyrics. We should do that with Corvin. Yeah, it's the same idea. old song. Da, 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 you know, on and on it goes. There we go. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Miss any of the show? Get the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Old song.